kinds of different um, short, um, I think 30 minute uh, You're virtual on mic thing, yeah? lessons. I run into the same problem. I have another question. Uh, what qualifications do you need to become an ROV pilot? Jessica? Um, qualifications. Um, it helps if you have some engineering understandings, if you have interest in it. Um, but a big part of it is just being a excited, willing, and able to debug things that are broken or um, work as a team. And yeah, so that, that's those are, I guess, the qualifications. A lot of it comes down to, as well, uh, situational awareness. Mm -hmm. So being aware that you have, I don't know, we have probably, what, like 21 screens that we're monitoring, monitoring at all times. Um, yeah. It's probably a lot of things combined, but some engineering background or skill set would be great, and um, a willingness to just give it the beans all the time is what we say. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and and also keep track of where you are in your surroundings. It's a really hands-on job, too. So being able to turn a wrench is equally important, um, and. Um, they asked it as qualifications, right? So, like, if you're looking for work, I think, like, experience is what most people want out of you. Because, like, like we've said, like, many different things can qualify you to do this. There's lots of different pathways to it. But to get out there just doing the job and learning what that actually is um, and... Um, meeting people in the industry that can that you can learn from that you you that can also vouch for you um that's that's a big part of it so that's where like at sea internships are a good foot in the door so to speak uh for for that um val there's a there's a i'm gonna just kind of jet across since it's like a pretty start drop off but we have a wall uh, we have some more features coming up in argus Yep, so good. I'm just gonna it might lose a little bit of visual contact of the ground, but it'll probably make for a much better flying in about two minutes. No problem. Do what you need to do. I think you could call this maneuver a uh, tally ho. Tally ho. <laughs> I'm just tally ho across this. We're just gonna <laughs> tally ho. <laughs> what are the currents like here? The currents are actually pretty good. Knock on wood, you know, touch wood. Um, but yeah, these are these are much nice, much nice. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, grammar is not necessarily required. Much nice, very current. <laughs> very. <laughs> it's like that Doge meme. <laughs> Such better. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was a little loud. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very much nice rock. <laughs> <laughs> Very rock. Such mineral. Yes, Such mineral. Prejudice is now. Another move, please. Same step. <laughs> Looks like that sea star ate itself out onto a ledge. <laughs> yeah. Like paint yourself Walk into a plank. room, but like <laughs> I ate myself to a ledge. <laughs> I love that new imagery. <laughs> How full are oh, you? Oh, I love one to the edge of that ledge. Oh, I'm gonna say that in my real life, and unfortunately, only you guys will understand. <laughs> it's okay. And yes, it is two o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> How can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to do a gauge check. Good. <laughs> and we are at what it looks like about 1,742 meters. Depth, deep. yep. 
in Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument in uh, pretty far north along the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. If you find Ma Manavai, also known as Pearl and Hermes, and you look north toward that kind of outer boundary, our expanded boundary, you'll find the Ladon Seamounts. And that is where we are right now, part of the Lilukulani Range. Look at that neon stock in the I distance. I was about to say, yeah. is that one of those neon sponges again? It is. I love we how we can tell that by the stock. Yes. <laughs> the name of this leg of the 2022 expeditions is Lu'uwa'ea Ahiki Ike Kumu, and it's honoring kind of the foundations that have already been laid uh, with some mapping work and exploration work from the fall. Ooh, look at that. So thanks to all that hard work, we've been able to spend a lot of time diving. Yeah, we've been just rolling right up. Yep. Usually you have to do, not usually, sometimes you have to do some mapping before each dive. We haven't had to. I think we will be doing a day of mapping after this. Yes, yep. 24 yep. hours. 24 hours of mapping. Woohoo! <laughs> Plenty of time to finish up some sample reports <laughs> and maybe yes. work on Go some stuff on for my partial, <laughs> other Jump life. Job. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, no, I need to do some of that. Man and I the know, cheese moon. I'm there too. Cheese moon. Cheese. Wow. What's the name of this guy? Balasoma. Balasoma. Balasoma cheese moon. Balasoma. Oh, it's like well. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, like, Sonoma. <laughs> like, I got my table from Balasoma. <laughs> is a shrimp associate in there somewhere? Down is that, is that, is that or is it Brittle Star? See some Brittle Stars. Brittle yeah. Stars, yeah. Okay, still cam. Come on. One more picture. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here, I can center up a bit here. Oh, no, no. You're great. I'm just like, still cam. Can it be 30 seconds already? Yeah. Oh, Raj. You going to push on in there a bit on that st awesome structure? Wow, that it could be just, our it is, ugh, the Parmesan bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were headed back to pasta. Parmesan bowl. <laughs> this could be on my wall right here. Oh, yeah. It's, this could be my wallpaper. Look you guys ever, uh, I got a friend, uh, uh, an aluminum That print. is a shrimp, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yeah. one little shrimp up there. Good eye. It is his wall. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> it is his wallpaper, though, he said. Yeah. That's awesome. He said it is his wall. <laughs> These days, you could actually get that printed. There's so many custom companies now. Yeah. So pretty. The texture reminds me of that website, Scribble, where it, like, it just draws like over and over and over itself, and it kind of ends up looking the way this does. Interesting. I am. Full wide, please. Ooh, I like that. That was interesting lighting there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like mood lighting. lighting. You can see nothing but sponge. <laughs> Become one with yeah. the sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Those kind of dramatic shots with the Oh, these dark. cheese moon shots are so good. Please nice. look at that. These I'm cheese so moon shots are so Dude, good, she said. <laughs> <laughs> Things you only hear out here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, a tall thing. But Looks like a dead Zontas. something. Well, what do you think for a sponge? With the stock that we're seeing? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. We have another nice little wall coming up. So I love the brilliant colors of the gorges and the hemicoralliums. Yeah. I'm going to look through this Kelly wish list again now that I feel like this dive has lots of stuff we haven't seen before. I want to acknowledge.
One of the things I love about being on board is during our transit times, uh, a lot of times we'll organize little talks so everybody can share a little bit about their experience and expertise and just kind of a constant sh exchange and sharing of, of knowledge and learning and questions. It's really fun. We're working on Val to give us a little tour of all of her rock samples now that they're mm, trying ooh, to figure yes. out how to, how to do that. Yeah, yeah especially because we're packing a lot I of them I know, it's up. all I packed know. up and organized. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just might have to pull out the sub-samples box and uh, uh, it might be the most accessible for some of the fun stuff. Some of the more fun stuff. There's a lot of fun stuff. <laughs> It's an interesting yeah. little sponge. <laughs> I'm not great at sponges. <laughs> it's, double oh, yeah. it. it's like double bulb. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to look at it or should you keep going? Uh, sure, if we could do a quick zoom. Yep. It's kind of crazy. If you look at the background, you can just see how everything is dropping off. Yeah. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah, all evidence is pointing to this ridge having quite a bit of history. It's, it's seen some things. <laughs> There Shapes have been some dual head colophagus, and if this is that, I'm going to be so excited. Ooh. Is this pretty rare if it is? Uh, I don't, I've never seen one, but I've seen them in the guides. Ah, this okay. dual head thing is cool. I can't tell if it's colophagus. We can't quite see the convex from this side yeah. if it is. but It's actually it's not a concave. And you see Sorry, that it's stalk, that second head actually coming off a stalk. I mean, I uh, think branching. Yeah, branch joint, branch yeah, right, like double. Sparse branching. Sparse <laughs> brancher. <laughs> you guys weren't here for the dance move, but. Yeah, is that convex there? Um, I think, like, if it would be on, can't concave on the back side, if we could, could see it. Right, you can go ahead and push on it a little bit more, please. The one on the right looks like it's rounded. The one on the left, though, looks like it's, yeah, like, like you said, like, concave. Like, you know, like the other side, maybe? Yeah. Could be. Sorry, I'm going to. Yeah, the Sako is appreciating all the metallogorgia that's around this, too. It really is. Like, just out of nowhere, they showed up at uh, Mercury and now here at Luton. Get the brush away again, please. There you go. Should we keep the wolf? Are those the uh, flower leg -like ones? Yeah. These yeah, ones here yeah. with a very planer. Go ahead, do it, Mark. Top. Someone who was asking what those are called. Brush, this is not another wolf sim step, please. All right, I'm a bit more stable now, Brett, if you want to go ahead and push on him one more time. Are those tiny spicules on the stalk? Or is that something... I don't know if those are actually spicules of the sponge or something gr growing on it. Oh, okay. I feel like the stalks usually look pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, enough of the shots yeah, there for good. you? Yeah, that's good, thanks. Okay. Very interesting. Cool. Pull away, please. Jess, we have a viewer who is impressed with your animal identifications. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Seconded. If I can get down to knowing the species identification, oh my gosh, that'd be, that's my goal. I just always remind myself that a lot of our experts helping us also often kind of have to wait on the species. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Get a better I get genus. <laughs> yeah. Set yourself a high bar there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> More. What's that dikes? What's that? Yeah, this one's pretty wide. Am yeah, I? the Atlanta shot's cool. Sorry, I might have to actually huh? get up above it really quickly, though. That's that is okay. cool, the Atlanta. You can see the whole dike running by. Yeah. It's a huge one. Coming up. Raj, Raj. Yeah, I think we're, we may well be seeing part of the uh, volcanic yeah. plumbing system yeah. out on this rift. This is so wild. Volcanic plumbing it's system. Really yep. hard to tell, like, h how those dikes are or are not connected from the way that we see this whole thing. The yeah. big picture is hard to get. Yeah, I'd, I'd need to get, like, strike and dip orientation on those. And, uh, Gotta uh, map and that rock. Yeah, and map it out. <laughs> and we're, we're just seeing little snippets here, so it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to tie the big picture together. It is a lot of food for thought, though. 
got sure. a question. Yeah, no worries. Someone's asking uh, how we're communicating from a ship. Uh, we have a satellite connection to the Inner Space Center, which is in Connecticut, I believe. Um, Rhode Island. Rhode Island? Okay. Thanks. And from there, it goes out through the internet to everybody else. If you look at a uh, picture of the ED Nautilus, you'll see this big ball shape. Look at this wall. This one's crazy. Thing on the back. Wow. Do we do the reset here? What's going on with this, Val? Sure thing. That is so cool. That's that beautiful. Looks like, is that columnar? It's it's the top of a columnar <laughs> jointed something. Wow. That is really neat. It that is. is wow. I want to take the lasers off, can I? Can you explain what we're yeah. seeing a little bit more, Val? And screenshot it? Yeah. So, um, this is this is some sort of melt. I don't know, just looking at it right now, if it's intrusive or extrusive. But uh, you, what we're looking at is uh, the tops of um, some columnar cooling joints. And, uh, uh, yeah, we're... <laughs> I'm at a loss for words right now. Um, <laughs> I'm in love with these rocks. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're seeing uh, basically like a cross section of uh, some columnar jointing in something that uh, that cooled. So it cooled first starting on this plane that we're seeing and then uh, started cooling further down. So it created this temperature gradient that caused uh, that uh, uh, that caused a little bit of stress in this rock. Can you push out in there, please? So you get this, this cold edge and the warm interior. And uh, the rock starts contracting as it cools and basically freezes, um, solidifies, crystallizes, however you want to say it. And uh, these, these little structural weaknesses that form as uh, uh, the rock contracts uh, forms this kind of, uh, this, this kind of uh, jointed surface. So if we were to... Uh, swing around to the top or the side of this, we could actually see that it, away, it would look uh, like uh, oh my gosh. stripy Ooh. rocks. Before we, oh, Ooh. that's kind of Sorry, oh. this will Nine. take precedence. Yeah. Yeah. Push it on there, please. That's good. Mm, that's Man. some old Do you guys see any line coming up from the top? No. I don't. I don't. Yeah, Great. Exactly. Yeah. Hazard, <laughs> hazard, hazard for sure. oh, I please. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that was a hazard for us. We have to check on it. Yeah, that's the biggest one I've s we've seen so far on this trip. Though. Yeah, second one this dive. Just puts the ha ha in hazard. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Hey, gotta be safe. <laughs> All right, we gotta actually get moving anyway, so. Yeah. I think that was the side of a dike that we might have been looking at, so that come may have up. been intrusive. Pull, you wanna come full wide on Atalanta, please? Laser's back on. It Under is. Rudge. Sure thing. All right, well, then we really gotta go. Please. I'm also I'm tilted up a little bit. I can tilt down. Raj, you are coming up, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too bad we weren't able to get a side view of that, but it was just too close to the net. Uh, that would have been. We'll probably uh, have more chances. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't. I don't good. think we're Look at that done seeing those. Polyopgon in the back. Yeah. It's like doing backflips. <laughs> and doing slinky mode. Slinky yeah. mode. I like that. <laughs> oh, I, I love I love these little like piles of rock <laughs> that you get where uh, the corals just yeah. Yeah, that's that's just where they like to be. Uh, our coral knobs. Yeah. yeah, we have so many different Chrysogorgia on that one coral knob. It is pretty wild. Like isn't four it? different species. Yeah. I like that you guys oh, are This is another dike work. here. <laughs> oh, look at that. So here you can see the side and the top of the dike. So you can see more of that joint structure that we saw wow. before we spotted the net. <laughs> yeah, this wow. is incredible. I've only seen something like that in like in Utah before. Yeah, yeah there is a bunch of that in Utah. Or Smith Rock in wow. Smith. Oregon. Yeah. Yeah, and we're still on the same head heading, so it looks like the dikes have changed orientation a little bit, maybe. Yeah, they're kind of like, or I guess, how were we coming up before? We were coming up this way? I think way. we were coming up around 3.30. Yeah, yes. and it was running, like, parallel yeah. to us, and now they're running orthogonal. Yeah. Yeah, very Something interesting. Something about the stress field changed in this area, but um, beyond that, I don't have any more uh, specific things to say. If you want, so I can line up my heading with this rock flow. Oh, we're going to yeah. turn Herc into a Brunton. Yeah, exactly. Now <laughs> we're just going to be uh, 
little compass. Yeah. So my heading well, is around degrees. 60 degrees, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's nearly vertical from what I'm seeing, too. Hmm. All right. I'm going to keep coming up. Roger, Roger. So then perhaps for the next move, we can reduce it to 30 meters instead of 50 meter steps. Are we getting bumpy sure. again? Thank you. Oh yeah, no, it, it's just that there's, it's like these really cool little ledges that come up and... Yeah. And are alarming. True. <laughs> you ready for it? Somewhat alarming sometimes, sorry. Ready for it? Uh, or shall wow. I wait? Yeah, I think this one's pretty shallow. Let me get a little stretched out, and then we can call it back in. Okay. Don't ask me what that is, because I don't know. Uh, it's big, broken blocks. There's a nice little sun star. Oh, and you can mm. see more. More cheese moons. Man, there's oh, so another much neon sponge. Wow. <laughs> this is Balasoma. really complicated Balasoma. here. Balasoma. I've never been so impressed by biology and geology at the same time. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is an incredible place. Oh, a big place. sponge over the horizon there. All right, go ahead there, Sulman. Approach this is now. Three three Holy zero thirty cow. meters. Wow, maybe yes, more metallogorgia there on the right. Several. This really is so different. I kind of need another geologist around to like totally geek out with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to impersonate one. <laughs> You're doing an excellent <laughs> job. <laughs> I mean, I really like these rocks. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I think I might make a, um, I want to, I hope I can go find those pictures and make it actually like my phone screensaver or something. Yes. Yeah. We yes. should. Yeah, I want yeah. all of this. I'm going to go back and download I, them all. <laughs> I almost never go back and look for the pictures, Val, so that's, you know, these are some very impressive rocks. <laughs> <laughs> good oh, and there's a giant sponge going ahead in um, Atlanta. Oh. Two of them. Perhaps. Look at that. This is weird. Like it is yeah. so Late, weird. Almost. Yeah. Ooh, I got the chills. That is really cool. Do you want to turn scaling lasers off? Raj, Raj. I can get closer if you want to. I think this is a good distance. Sure. I, I want this to be my phone background. Uh, what the maximum depth our ROVs can dive to. Oh my god, the sponge is coming up. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and come back. 4,000? 4,000? 4,000 meters? Yeah. That's so oh, actually, weird. you want to push back in? Oh my gosh, that's huge. Oh. That's great you there. Can, you can see where some of it maybe is. Maybe come a little wide. Broken off. Let's already. get there. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. It's kind of cooked. Wow, look at the difference. Different kind of cooked from what I say when I'm sawing things. Yeah. And then some uh, stolen if Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Go ahead and come by it again, please. Herc is 4,000, but at a well, I'm going to go with Argus, is um, 6,000 okay. meters. Yeah. That was a big fall Whoa. right there. With their, uh, big old Whoa. cheese. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is just. Oh, you weren't kidding. So cool. And those There's two of them. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> this is a this cool is a, spot. One of these dives we don't finish because we're just wow. too distracted <laughs> yeah. by everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look how gosh. big it is in the Atalanta view. Yeah. Do you mind putting the lasers on? Really yeah, quick sure, sure. Not? Have that with some crackers. Well, yeah. Let me know when <laughs> I can come crackers. back off. Jeez. Oh my gosh, okay, any estimates? Uh, big. Um, like big. 70 Pounds centimeters of wide. <laughs> <laughs> 80. <laughs> It's like almost. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ooh. it's got to be like a meter tall. Look, Look at, at it chills. next to Herc in relation to Hercules. It's oh, yeah. pretty big. Let's do a zoom on Atlanta and the iris down a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing for Atlanta. Look at so that. So that's the size. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know if this is too much. No, it's all right. Secure lasers for this shot here. I'm gonna go ahead and push in partial and get that in frame. That should be perfect. Can I come a little bit wide on that? Oh, that's so cool. That's wow. good. 
What's it gonna look like? Asako's asking about the fallen axis that we passed. Can you imagine if there was an octopus in there? <laughs> okay. it's, like, it's like an octopus thrown. <gasps> that is really, really amazing. Wow, that's really nice, yeah, that's cool. And it's giant. It's like a pompasom, like those seats. <laughs> <laughs> I totally did. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A few brittle stars or something in there. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that is a great yeah. uh, spot to filter feed. Wow. But wait, there's more. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, come right there, please. Two night only, two for ones, cheese moon special. <laughs> <laughs> it's at that two heading. It's at that heading you have now, but it's just straight up. Roger. And I'm. I'm oh yes. Yeah, Yet. See the stock. Two for one cheese moon special. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this one's big too. How oh, cool. Oh. Whoa. What <laughs> happened just now? <laughs> Somebody's mic got really is that yours? Uh, it's it's better now, I think. Oh, this one has more brittle oh stars. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and push on in there, oh. partial. All kinds of associates. I wonder because it's oriented differently to the, I don't know, flow, maybe they get better food feeding here. Mm -hmm. Or possibly. Yeah, possibly. Maybe. I wonder why it has the kind of different levels of yellow. You see kind of where it's yeah. kind of bolder. Yeah, I was seeing that. More or less neon. Huh. Very cool. All right, good. Come right there, please. Oh, so cool. Those are spectacular. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite. Dive. I love this dive. I, I love like this. <laughs> Christ, the gorgeous are, are the exploding fireworks right off yeah. of it, just like you, were, you guys always talk about. All right. Come wide on Atalanta. Thank you. This is the kind of site that definitely merits a revisit. Yeah, definitely. Oh my gosh. I kind of feel bad for the other shifts. I know, but I we deserve this <laughs> because we went through a lot of just like nothing. So yeah, we had a few. Not nothing, uh, you well know. We there were that, cool rocks. Well, we had that nodule less, field. Less <laughs> yeah, you Didn't know, we we until. did our time. So. <laughs> Actually, uh, according to Saka, they got to see some of those dandelion uh, stephanophores too. Yeah, right. They saw the dandelion thing. We deserved our dandelion <laughs> thing. I feel like we always see something cool, but sometimes it's just incredible. Mm. Yeah. yeah, there's always at least like one thing. Sorry. Do you have to reset? This whole what is going on here with this whole mass of blo blocky boulders? Do you think that the dike exploded? It kind of came up over the top of the flow. Um, I mean they. I mean, if they get to the surface, they can erupt. But I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Um. Yeah. One day you'll be able to come back here and do the <gasps> wow, that's map the whole <laughs> Totally. Yes. This, this asking, feels unique. Feels like you could come back here and map it. Go ahead, Christopher. Somebody's asking if there's a fan mail PO box or something, because they want to paint the cheese moon and send it over to us. Oh. You, uh, <laughs> you take a bottle and you put your painting into it and then you throw it into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll take a picture of it and, and tag uh, like Nautilus Live. Yes, tag Nautilus Live. Yeah, if you have On social media, Twitter or Instagram yeah. or whatever it is you use. That is probably TikTok. the best way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Followed closely by my method. <laughs> <laughs> Followed closely. <laughs> Mostly primnoids, you think? I think they're bamboos. All the branching ones? I think so. How can you tell from a distance? I want to get better at this. I I am judging based off of like the way the polyps look, the, the like branches look, but and the coloration. But we can zoom. Why don't we zoom and check it out? Sure. And then I'm in a better spot now for another ship move. Okay. 
I'm going to change my heading just to... It's interesting. I feel like this the pernuids usually more. look like bluier, and there's like oh. a different texture to the polyps, but I don't know, maybe Asako has... Which one did you guys want to look at? This one no, here? Any, anyone but the sparse brancher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. So, <laughs> I know. So we're looking at all these guys. Where? We're just looking at all these guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and push on in there, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the bamboos in the back right one, the, the nodes. Again? Far edge. Could you? I can't. You see <laughs> what I'm talking partially? about? Oh, I see it here. A yeah, bit. you can see it on the left That's a little good. too. I think they're Jason Isis. I'm going to look. See if I can ever get as subtly good as you guys. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and come wide, please. Sako says yes, Three bamboo. one zero. Sorry? Three one zero. Three one zero, Raj. Three one zero. Pretty sure this is enough. There's a little Three one. Three one zero, thirty meters, oh. please. It will be big one day, too. It will. Yes. <laughs> many, many years from now. So we are Brad. currently 10 and a half so we've hours. covered 300 so far. Into a 16 hour dive. We've got about five and a half hours left to go till we have the ROVs back on deck. Okay. Roger that. We're making our way up the ridge of uh, Seamount. I think we have another 200 vertical meters or so to go. If we stop being distracted by yeah. everything, we are not in a rush. <laughs> Look at yeah. this just We're stuff in the distance. Isn't that just there's crazy? There's yet. so yeah. much stuff. So We're making good much. time, guys. And, and giant bamboos over on the house halls. Yeah. That one over there. That's crazy. It's all. Wow, yeah, the one on the right is super tall. And look at that red corner. You just see through it ridiculous. already. Oh yes, you already right got it, bullseye. <laughs> already lined up on a shot. That is wild. This dive is definitely going to make it into the highlights for <laughs> this cruise. And yes, please. Too bad we were talking the whole time. <laughs> Isn't that what... Um, Megan was saying is that if we talk about it more, it's potentially going to become a dive highlight. Ooh. The likelihood <laughs> of it becoming a dive highlight. We talk more about what we're seeing. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the human aspect that they want out of it as well. So if we really want to bias our... <laughs> <laughs> and we do. <laughs> and we do. <laughs> I love the spiraling of that stock. Yeah. Right? Like you yeah. were pointing out earlier. Oh, wow. <gasps> yeah. This is just... Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh. So much metallic. It's, it's just a just rainbow. Like a gorgia field. Oh, it's yeah. like the poppies in the... Uh, oh, was yeah, there's more red gorgia too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought the exact It's all the thing. gorgias. It's interesting that it's like a lot of the same morphology. There's uh -huh. the eridogorgia, um, the, the metallogorgia, and then also the chrysogorgia uh, flavicins, the ones that are also sort of planar. Is that better or worse? It's no yeah. different, I don't think. Is this kind of density normal for these? Sorry, like, is this that? something you commonly you see? It's no different. Oh, Raj. I, th I think we have about the same viz either way. Yeah. I don't know how to answer uh, that. For just on, not for me. What about ever. porch on? Because you're lighting it Ooh, from below. Help. It's the, yeah, I like Asako's it's the, calling this a the snow and the water garden. Column oh yeah, that Asako, I'm this into. is yeah, yeah. Asako, this is one of your coral garden, uh, like wake up words, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's that on the left there? On the behind that original right yeah. 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 Uh, Any Crowley, maybe? It's kind of hard to tell from the side. Oh, this is really rare, she says. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is? We should have said Coral Garden earlier. Because <laughs> it's happening on the nocturnal watch. <laughs> I'm going to come down on my delta a little. Roger. <laughs> A question about how old the giant cheese moon sponges can live to be. Do you know? 
no idea, but I'd wager that those were pretty old. Yeah. 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 I don't remember, like, every time, I don't remember Chris ever saying anything other than we're not sure yet, right? Right. So much to learn. I mean, the sheer size of some of these corals, they, these have had to have been around for a Change long time, head too. In. I want to see you. Roger. I'm actually going to change my heading as well right now. And we're going to go ahead and look at what's coming up. Cool, Sounds cool, cool. good. Cool, cool, cool. We left the garden and now we're looking across the plains. Oh, there's still more there, though. Yeah. Let's cheat a little closer to 310 router. Oh, never mind. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to stay uh, upslope with you a bit. Sure. Can we make another move? It's just not ending. Yeah. 310. Yeah, sounds good. Very cool. <laughs> he laughed at it. That's First, this is not <laughs> another move. Three one zero, thirty meters. Wow! Look at how big that is. Yeah, the current has actually definitely picked up up here. So maybe they're. You can kind of see they're all kind of blown over in the breeze, but mm -hmm. uh, maybe this is a very nutrient-rich yeah. area. Yeah, there. I see a lot more. Marine snow on the screen than earlier. Yeah. God, those are so big. Wow. I've What's never seen that one that big. Are you putting this in the log as a coral garden? I've been logging all kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> I tried turning on the uppers again. Oh, oh my oh. god. <laughs> 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 That's ridiculous. Is that a bowl of soma right there? Look how small that thing is. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. oh it my looks gosh. Like it might be. Oh my gosh. We're like looking off into the distance. Meanwhile, we've got. <laughs> yeah, like this right in front of us. And bamboo whips, which are probably taller than the. RVs. Probably. Wow. All right. We don't have <laughs> much room for us to go down, though. However, so we're gonna have to. Have this as our visual contact for a few minutes. That's okay. There's another something big coming up in yeah. front of you. Yeah. What? Cheese moon. Cheese. That's moon. another cheese moon. I think that was cheese moon. No, no, right in. Oh. This right here. I'm looking I think at it in the Atalanta view. Oh I think yeah. It's something branching, coral wise. Looks like it's falling over to me. Yeah. I don't think you have much room to go down though. Because of the yeah slopey slope yeah we could just speculate from a distance <gasps> it almost looks like it fell Fallen over fan yeah I hate speculating <laughs> <laughs> could I try a zoom on it real quick I don't think you'll get much okay yeah it looks like it did fall over yeah. <coughs> Interesting branching. Huh. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Unique patterning. These are the kind of dives that make being up in the middle of the night feel like nothing. Oh, my gosh. Nothing. I'm sad that our watch is going to end. Yeah. It's already three almost. I know. It's crazy. Don't say that. <laughs> 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 I love those.
How close are we to the next waypoint? I can't quite see the... Gracias. Don't mind us, I've just treat, refueling with a little treat. Everybody got Thank quiet. You. Thank <laughs> you, by the way. I think that's how to get the back row to stop talking, is to beat <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a question about... Um, Shall we keep moving? Yeah, let's keep moving. Approach, this is nav. Another move, same step, please. Was G-Sponge up to the left? Yeah. Roger. What were you saying, I think I, I think I think I can cautiously eat up those three meters between us. Three, one, zero. Roger, Roger. We had a question about uh, whether organisms down here can tell the difference between whether it's day or night. Uh, conditions down here are very consistent. Uh, dark and cold and really high pressure. Are there any vertical migrators from this depth or is that a higher water column kind of thing? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think there are larger animals, yes, that that will, you know, pass between deeper depths like this and shallower depths. That's another one of those big dead sponges. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think there are like dial vertical mm -hmm. migrators that will go this deep. So yeah. things that do it every single day. One of my favorite words is by dial, mm, like twice a day. Overachievers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of our viewers says, coral forest versus coral garden is a thing. Mm. <laughs> Which one was this? Uh, that was I Jason. I think, it, I think it was a garden. I would call that a garden. Yeah. I call them all gardens, though. Maybe the bamboos could be forests if it was a forest of bamboos. I feel like we would, like, yeah, I feel like visually we'd be able to be like, oh my gosh, that's a forest, right? Mm -hmm. What we saw was a garden. Ooh, look, there's a fish on the left. Sorry, I was too, I was looking Oh yeah, it blends yeah. in. Wow. <laughs> Pretty big. Good eye. Where, where is Justin oh, was right about there. to do it. Right I like, there. I was drinking water. Narrowly meet, beat <laughs> Justin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Gotta get me with my mouth full of water. I could see you leaning into the <laughs> telestream. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and push that in there, please. I'd say that was a good investment on OAT's part. Wow. Oh, which one is this? Is that the Synaphrobranchid? Those Moridae and Tamore were like much darker than this, right? Yeah, and they yeah. had a weird different caudal fin. Yeah, different. I think we saw one of these earlier on uh, the 8 to 12 shift. What were you doing with them? I wasn't. I was in the lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I haven't been moonlighting in other, th in other ships unless it's to do dinner relief. Unless what? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a lot. No, I was processing rocks all evening. All right, pull away, please. Roger. Mm -hmm. Questionable alibi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a camera in there. You can go back to the footage. <laughs> Fine, you were even in there for a minute. <laughs> That's true, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, seeing that fish reminds me, uh, I saw down in the lounge that they earlier watched, saw a fish, but it had a, like a, an actual forked caudal fin. Hmm, forked caudal fin, interesting. Yeah, like more what you'd see up higher, so I'm, I'm curious what that was. Yeah, and it had like a, 
almost a pinkish body, but all the fins were charcoal black. Ooh, cool. I like that. It's very interesting. I, did you hear anything else about it? I didn't know. No. I'll we'll have to ask them about that later. It's one I've never seen. Not that it's saying a ton. <laughs> <laughs> we have a question about the slurp. Slurp away. How strong is the suction on the slurp? Zero to 100 beans. <laughs> it is a percentage of beans. <laughs> sorry. You ask a real question, you get, so, I'm sorry, answers are different. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. This, well. is of, this is part of the qualifications of becoming an ROV pilot to answer that earlier question. Gotta hang with the lingo. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> pay attention to 17 screens and crack jokes. <laughs> what happens when you get a bunch of people together with their own highly field specific jargon? Yeah. <laughs> no one knows what's going on. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what's the answer? <laughs> I know it's. I don't know. I don't know like the rate of flow. I do not know the rate of flow. I don't think we really have ever quantified that. Right. Um, I mean, we could calculate it, but it's the motor can do what the motor can do, and we can go zero to a hundred percent of that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's yeah. I, unfortunately, I think that's the honest answer. Um, Strong enough to pick up a a sea star or piece of sponge or something like that. Occasionally, mollusks. when you look in the in the carousel that the water is yes, getting please. flushed into, Fraser, if there's some sand another or another sediment step, in there, you can see that it's moving really rapidly. So it is a pretty strong flow. Mm. You know what I've never done yet is like turn it on on deck 100 beans and like stick my hand in front of it. Yeah, I was gonna ask if anyone <laughs> like how that. much does it like Hoover or <laughs> is it you know I wonder kind of kind of meh. I wonder if they, like, because water, it would be incompressible Yeah. versus air. I, want, I wonder if that would change the... Right. It's the a good question. That is a good question. Flow. Looks like we're seeing a little bit of nodule. Uh, this looks like debris. Most of it's debris. You don't think any of this in here? Oh, no, I guess mm. it's just coloring. Maybe some there. nodules. It's hard, it's hard to tell. Is debris an industry term? Yes. Raj. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, because I, I, I want to be able to, debris describes it accurately, but I feel like it doesn't treat them with kindness. You want a fancier oh. term, there's talus. Talus? Yeah. Talus. What does that mean? <clears throat> debris. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of talus around here. Yeah. Look sure at all this is. talus. Yeah, I like that better, because <laughs> debris makes it look like, sound like, sound, sound, sound like, you know, trash. <laughs> what all this debris? <laughs> who, who didn't clean up after their party or something like that? <laughs> but talus, talus, look at all this talus. There's ge geological talus everywhere. <laughs> uh -huh. it, it, geology does kind of get everywhere. <laughs> it doesn't clean up after itself. Mm -hmm. Neither does the biology. Nope. <laughs> oh, here, going back to that garden versus forest oh, conversation. <laughs> Uh, Sako's weighing in. Uh -huh. That's cute. She says um, she thinks when we see a lot of the same species, we call it a forest, such as a bamboo forest. But when oh. we have a high biodiversity, we tend to call it a garden. Oh. That's her take on things. Okay. Bamboo forest. Glad we, we agree on that. I feel like bamboo forests seem very appropriate. Uh, yeah. Hawaii, please. You know what's kind of weird? What? It looks like the dikes don't have the same botryoidal pattern oh, is there in its earlier? manganese crust coating compared to the stuff that they're intruding into. Mm. It's like it's nucleating differently. Weird. Huh. I've been kind of picking up on that. And like it's it's finally starting to go ding in my head. That's, That's awesome. interesting. I, I, I don't just, know why. We had to wait till it was three in the morning for it to all sink in. Sometimes it takes a while for things to go ding. I agree. I have the same ding delay. I think two <laughs> hours from ever seeing this before to being kind of familiar with it is a pretty good turnaround. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Nice. That's very true. 
Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of this. I kind of like that the ship is just backing it up. <laughs> 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 it's squat lobster booty scooching. <laughs> <laughs> if the ship starts twerking, I want off. <laughs> Christopher, please reel us in. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm marking this as a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we make that an official term? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, look at the dike feature from Atalanta. Yeah, you 45 degree oh, oh, yeah. orientation Zoom on these. Yeah. Like 60%? No, well, 40%? On Atalanta? Yeah, please. Ah, less than too that. Too far, too that's, far, yeah, too that's far. Not <laughs> I can, that's there you good. are. Perfect. I can, I can relight this way so you guys can see it on Atalanta if you want to get a good screenshot. Yeah. The delay oh, look at that right there. Uh, yeah, that's no gold. It shows the cliff edge too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some sponge over there. Is there a sponge in the back left of us? E yes. Oh my god. Ooh. I wonder, or maybe I would assume you could see it in the port rail cam, but I don't see oh there it is, coming into view. You see it in the Niskins, behind the Niskins? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The one down below. Yes. Tilting my camera down to actually see. Oh, there's one of those dead stalks. Yeah. Very good tether management during this whole thing, you guys. You're just like, spinning Thanks. around doing pirouettes, and there's still like no wraps. <laughs> Seventeen, oh, kind of yeah. 17 screams, screams, oh, jokes, and pirouettes. Yeah. Same step, please. Well. Osaka was noticing potentially some stolonifera or barnacles on the rocks. Sponge yeah, we've been seeing some stolonifera on this dive. Yeah, I think the only barnacles we saw were in on uh, one of the corals. Yes. Yeah. A question about whether the slurp ever gets clogged up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sure do. <Never>. Sure does. <laughs> Currently clogged. No, just no it's kidding. not. <laughs> Watch yesterday's stuff. Yeah, it was a little yeah, yesterday. Yesterday, there was a, a piece of coral that went, I think, halfway down the tube, they said. <laughs> it was like a fishbone incident. <laughs> they had to <laughs> remove it while it was on deck for today's launch. Well, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead, Jess. Oh, I would say, remember once we got, it was maybe in November or something like that, we got um, some nodules stuck in there, but then. It was earlier on in the dive, and science still wanted to use it, so we started just packing samples <laughs> within the tube. <laughs> really? And what? So there was, I think, like three samples in that tube. How do you document that? <laughs> I'm so, I don't know, I'm so sorry to the scientists. Like so. Sample number 33, mm -hmm. two feet down the tube. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say, Kylie? I was going to say that we very frequently have to... Um, floss the tube. Well, no, how did I, w I, have, I don't have good, what is happening? Why I'm not, I can't see you anymore. Um, <laughs> I can zoom out. So. No, I think uh, we are, I think we are. Jessica's just doing her own thing. Sure. I'm just Actually, yeah, you want to check, are you full light on Atalanta? No. Huh. I'm, I'm getting pulled, I think. Oh yeah, your thrusters are gone. Okay, I'll hold off here. Raj, Raj. Yeah, I think we burp our slurp, basically. <laughs> every, every, basically it's a good post-dive activity to do. Yeah, because yeah, you never know if there's something that's clinging on in there. Yeah, Klingons. Klingons, yep. <laughs> Another question, uh, how do you determine the spots where you dive? Deep sea mapping. Yeah, so we spend some time mapping with uh, multi-beam sonar. You should have enough. There's a lot in the slack there. You want me to turn? 
Yeah. Towards port. Turn, yeah, whichever way makes both the 6-8 and the tether wraps go down. Once we get a yeah, good image. Yeah, I can't image. turn that way. I can't turn to port. Try cycling the thruster power. Roger, roger. Once we get a good image of the seafloor, our chief scientists and expedition leaders or can yeah, make that's some decisions. Crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Or try turning off auto heading and then turning back on. I did that uh, before I did the, the thruster thing you told me to do. Oh, it looks like your thrusters are good now. slightly ahead, uh, waypoint six might be a good place to pick up a rock. Oh, roger that. Cool. Rock pickup. Phil, have you noted much manganese crust at all in, in this? Uh, yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing uh, when, when we uh, zoom on things, uh, a lot of botryoidal texture. Um, it looks different on the dikes for some reason. Is it here? Like less yeah, developed? somewhere out there. I Maybe. don't know. Pattern looks slightly different. Go ahead. Oh, more than slightly Thank different. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you why because theoretically these surfaces were these surfaces would have been exposed at the same time uh, when uh, you know whatever process you know faulting subsidence whatever uh, 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 cut through what we're seeing now. That could just have something to do with the uh, surface properties of a lava flow uh, versus the joint surfaces of a dike. Huh. It's my best guess. Someone's asking uh, what the galley put in our breakfast today. It's three in the morning. It is three in the morning. <laughs> A healthy dose of sleep deprivation. <laughs> I haven't eaten breakfast in a week and a half. He doesn't wake getting. up for breakfast. Yes. So. No. Yeah, we miss it pretty much. Yeah, we're all kind of on non-circadian-ish uh, schedules at the moment, so it gets well, a little weird. You know how most animals are kind of active at like sunrise and sunset where they're crepuscular? We're exactly the opposite of that. <laughs> we're anti-crepuscular. I'm going to guess that there will be pancakes, crepes, uh, Beans. They're never, you know, pancakes bacon. and crepes are never on the same day. Bacon. Oh. They alternate days. Yes, alternate they days. do. Okay. Bacon, sometimes sausage. Mm -hmm. Hey, right, you and Iris Way more than I can handle. on her, please. Gotcha. Thank you. Sauces for the pancakes or right. crepes. Or jams. It's a tough life here. <laughs> I love crepes. I know. I, there are always so many leftover crepes, and I always want to eat so table many crepes. Of them. Table crepes. Go ahead. Bridge, this is now another move. Same step. It's good. It's good that I'm not. It's good that I'm on twelve to four, um, because when I do get crepes, it's like a special event. I agree. Did Did anybody try those? Um, kind of the. Bridge, this is now. Uh, another move. Same step, please. Hold on. Wait. The lox cream cheese wrapped with by a crepe. Oh, that's one of those <laughs> crepe wrap. Mm. That sounds so good. We've got about five more hours on our dive. Oh my gosh, I think there's a big sponge. One more big hour that we'll distance. tune in for oh, yeah. ourselves. <laughs> Super exciting. Can't wait to see it. I like this kind of sneak peek view. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's been nice seeing some bigger sponges. We haven't. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, Whoa, I'm going to come up a little bit. Roger that. It wasn't too low or anything. I just saw my light in your butt cam. It's <laughs> like, yeah, I don't like that that much. <laughs> uh, 
There's a sponge, a big sponge coming up on your uh, about 10 degrees to port side. We're right. waiting for the dramatic yeah. reveal. Well, <laughs> it's going to be a bit. You can see it in Al Atalanta, though. We've, we've been <laughs> chatting about it already. It's so interesting how, like, not for nothing, but, like, if she wasn't pointed that way, probably wouldn't see it at all. Um, yeah. yeah. And how just, you know, that the nature of life um, we just can see what we can see on these paths and we just miss what we miss and that's just the way it is yep yeah limited by uh, her uh, field of view on the cameras mm -hmm. yeah <clears throat> it's gonna be really really cool you want to count it down? What is that, a polyop? <laughs> <Five. laughs> I was thinking polyop four. First two, one. <laughs> one. <laughs> Ta -da. It looks like it has this weird <laughs> hole on top. Oh, but it does have the threads at the bottom, yeah. 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 Just a weird polyop what? gun. Just. Oh, it's kind of an unusual shape, though, huh? Oh, can we zoom spout. in a little bit on that surface texture? Yeah, go ahead. You want Whoa, lasers off? That's oh, yeah. That is so yeah. cool. It reminds me of some like shallow coral in structures it does. almost. In kind of a, a uh, unflattering way, it reminds me of like old wallpaper, like <laughs> the flowery uh. 1950s uh. leafy patterns. Would it be helpful if we put on the porch light? Squat lobster. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the way back there. Wow. Has anybody ever been to La Familia Sagrada? Sí, yes, yeah, I, I have. have. This reminds me of the interior vaulting. Mm. Is that in Italy? No. In Spain. 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 It's in Barcelona. It's a Antonio uh, Gaudí's work. Asako is guessing polyopagon. Yes, I think it is polyopagon Asako. You want to come partial right there, please? Sure. Mm. Actually, does anybody know if they fi finished construction on that? One nope, it's uh, always in construction. No <laughs> <laughs> you want to come a little bit more wide there? That's great there. It's a really cool structure, like looking out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. I see like mitochondria shapes. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a cool one. Cool wide, please. You guys are nailing the lighting on this too. Does anybody have a favorite sponge? Sponge. Hmm. I do like the cheese ones. The They're pretty cool. There's Those another are cool. of our little anemones, I think. Oh yeah. I've had a brain oh, yeah. lapse and I can't remember if Wal Walteria thumbing eye is a coral or a sponge. It's a sponge. sponge. It's a sponge. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. It is an awesome one. <laughs> hey, Jess, do you yeah? want to keep the porch light on or have it off? Oh, I can turn it off. Sorry. It's okay. Thank Moving, same that. direction. Roger that. Roger, this is now another move, same step. Was the porch light on just now and now it's off? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yeah. Leela, we mostly turn it off because um, it has a little bit of a glare on the corners on my camera, that, so I can't go quite as wide with it. Oh, you're fine. I'm managing the still camera back here, and it's hard to adjust the exposure on it, too, because of oh, I gotcha. when the lights change. I guess I guess I more mean if you if you need it on, oh, I can just no, zoom I'm in slightly more. It. Just trying to figure out if it's like a I need to change the settings or if it will soon not be relevant to change the settings. Gotcha. So what's our depth now? Sixteen ninety two. Yep. Moving up. Yeah, this dive it's a pretty steep dramatic ascent, so we're gonna finish uh, a thousand meters higher than we started. Big part of why it seems so interesting. Yeah. Mm. And that yeah, that paid off. 
Uh, honestly, either either of our uh, site candidate sites here would have been pretty cool. Oh, we got a little guy in the corner. Yeah. Oh. Some sort of jelly or something. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Something oh, yeah. in its Medusa stage. <clears throat> Thank you. There's so many little things that flip by us fast yeah. that yeah. when we do manage to get close-ups, they're so cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I don't know if we'll get this without making everyone in this control fan seasick, but do we it. can try. Oh, that's okay. We, we a volunteers bar. tribute. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and push on in there a little bit, please. Yes. That's great. <gasps> oh, look at oh. you. That looks a lot like that predatory. It does look like the, jelly the hydrozoan. Oh, or the one that yeah. caught the coral? Yeah. Yeah. That was something with an A. <laughs> oh, so cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, pull away, please. He did nice capture on that. Yeah. Is that a Indeed. Water spot? Oh, it's just a clear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I already forgot. You said you wanted to collect a rock at some point. Uh, okay. Once we hit waypoint six. Okay. I yeah, don't like right think we'll now. be hurt yeah. for rocks on this dive. Um, and stuff that's easy to pick up, too. <clears throat> oh, wow, that one's actually offset a little bit. Yeah. Teeny little fault. Oh, oh interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Displacement of like a foot. <laughs> Is that a slime star on there? I can't quite oh, see. Yeah. Oh yeah. I maybe. think it's a, just an anemone, guys. Oh yeah, you're probably yeah. right. That makes more sense. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. <laughs> but yeah. what if it were a slime star? It looked like it was folded over it, but <laughs> yeah. I guess it is. It's an, yeah, yeah, an yeah, anemone. Yeah, it's, it's one of those that kind of like like that yeah. right i still wonder how something as fragile as that <laughs> i know <laughs> how is that supporting that yeah. that thing looks huge. a little top heavy what i don't know how much do the anemones usually weigh are they kind of they're heavy? pretty heavy a lot of water okay huh maybe they make themselves neutrally buoyant uh yeah right i guess the whole situation <laughs> oh, is different underwater <laughs> all right we'll have to True. start coming up a bit here probably weighs more in the air yeah that is so weird So these are the kind of places that uh, are well worth protecting, and this is already protected as Papano Mokuake Marine National Monument. Uh, there are some other incredible uh, areas that are part of our National Marine Sanctuary System, and just wanted to honor the fact that the National Marine Sanctuary Act was passed 50 years ago, so we're in our 50th anniversary <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like didn't pick that up. We're just scooting chairs around. And, what is uh, that? <laughs> What's that, right? We should pad the bottom of these chairs. Oh, I was throwing it back to you, Justin. So it's uh, been 50 years since uh, since Congress passed the National Marine Sanctuary Act and the Clean Water Act. Should go ahead and push on in there, please. Some. There's another one that's more around oh shoreline. Oh gosh. That used to be one of those yellow sponges, right? Oh. Structure looks the same. Yeah. Yes, it does. Oh, Look, and what's, is that, that a little, little crinoid? Yeah, crinoid, crinoid dog. Yeah. Just <laughs> kind of going, doo -doo 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 yeah, there's there. nothing to see here. Yeah. Pull away, please. Wild. Cool. Yeah, so this this part that we're in now of the monument is within the expanded boundary area. Uh, this was er, we were the monument was really uh, originally created in 2006 through uh, presidential proclamation, and then in 2016 the boundary was expanded to its current extent, the full e uh, economic exclusive zone of Hawaiian waters of the Hawaiian archipelago. And uh, recently, we're also mandated to start looking at going through the designation process to become a National Marine Sanctuary, which would overlay the uh, monument status. That requires going through the National Marine Sanctuary Act and uh, through Congress 
to make that happen and a very extensive public process along the way. So then Papahanaumokuakea would be a marine national monument, a UNESCO cultural and natural world heritage site, and a marine sanctuary? Yeah, and actually parts of it are national wildlife oh, refuge, right. and then the, uh, under um, Clinton when he was president, he made it a core ref ecosystem reserve. So kind of as the building protections are a uh, added on, they don't disappear, they sort of layer over each other. I like that, that's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Look at the scale on that. It's just so big. Yeah. But for those those of you watching from the United States, the um, <laughs> Literally looking at sanctuary the system expands yeah. across the Great Lakes, the East Coast, the Gulf, Florida Keys, so uh, West Coast, of course, here in Hawaii, and also our neighbors in American Samoa. Some pretty amazing places. Mm -hmm. You can... Uh, we just did a major overhaul of our web page, so if you go to sanctuaries.noaa.gov, uh, you can learn more about each each of the 15 sanctuaries and the and the monuments. So really cool images and 360 videos and other resources. Uh, there's another anemone hanging out on a stalk. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll be on a stock. Gotta fill the void, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you. Those are really gorgeous. I'd never get old. I just never. Never. Really don't. never, ever. Wow. Big that was bigger than I thought it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's super Ooh, cool. Pretty. It looks like it's uh, blocked that entire little channel yeah. between yeah. the rocks. Maybe there's a better current flow that it's way. It's very tasty there. I hadn't been noticing much of the bottle brush, Carson Yeah. Not there was much. that really orangey version of it a little while ago, but not this. May I um, use bubble? For sure. Bye, y'all. I like to mention this every watch, but for those of you who are interested in learning more about deep ocean exploration, you can, of course, go to Thank the you. nautiluslive.org <laughs> website, and there's some really great uh, <laughs> learning materials, videos, all kinds of different things you can access. And then uh, there's a collaborative website called deepoceaneducation.org that was just released this year. And it uh, is kind of a co collaboration between uh, the between NOAA, Schmidt Ocean Institute, and uh, an OET. And so there you can actually check out and see what the three ships are doing, if they're in port, if they're out exploring, and kind of connect into What's that down the underneath that rock? Resources. Sorry? Sorry, Justin. There's a, a something moving in that shadow that we just passed. What side of the screen? Uh, left side. Um, there's a crevice uh, underneath the rock. Um, there was something that appeared to be flapping in there. Oh. It's just there exactly was. in shadow now. Huh. There was a small fish earlier that we passed. Yeah, well, was, there's a, this is bigger than the little fish. Yeah, I saw the little thin fish. This was like uh, rounder and huh. Like in this area here? It looks like they're like... Yeah, exactly there. Shadows coming It's out. right in there, whatever oh. it is. Come out, friend. I can't tell if there's a thing receding or just shadows. I don't want to call it an octopus and then it be like an anemone or something, <laughs> but yeah, it was see. something cool, oh. I think. Uh, I'm not out. moving. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Oh, well. Go on now. Nice Such is life in the deep sea. Yeah. Yep. It's fleeting. In the deep sea fast zone. I'm going to tell myself it was an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a question about whether um, we the have monument we are almost at is a place that's protected. Go ahead, Christopher. 
uh, whether the monument is protected against mining. Yes, it is. All resource extraction is prohibited. In fact, even uh, samples taken which aren't vital to be retained are, are returned. Is that right? Like, did I read that correctly? Uh, well, mostly uh, we, the, there's a pretty strict uh, limit to what can mm -hmm. be sampled, mm -hmm. and there's a extensive permit process that go that's leading up to that. Um, returning samples is sort of a current conversation, so I don't think I can share anything specific I see. there. Okay. Odd morphology around here. So Val, as we're approaching, we're pretty much on waypoint nine. Um, sponge, uh, sponge six, right? Yeah. Do you want a rock sample from over here still? Uh, yeah. If if we see something that um, looks easy to grab, um, yeah, I'm gonna jump on it. That uh, is a huge sponge. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of sponges down there. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, Belle. Pool. Were you just distracted by the sponge in the back? I'm uh. distracted by everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this just stairway. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. Did it, is it, was it offset rubble. again there? To the uh, slightly, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing some rubble around here. So I don't know if there's a good place to put down. This might be good. Or if we want to get up a little higher, that, that might work too. Okay, um, yeah, up to you. Do you want it from a higher spot or do you want it? Um, the vehicles are in a pretty good spot right now. Okay, yeah, let's let's see what's in that rubble pile that we're floating, uh, flying over, All right. floating. There's also, I guess there's that one up here right above it. Looks like there's a lot of loose bits up there. Um, Whereas yes. It's okay. Yeah, let's try that. Roger that. And yeah, um, at this point it's not vital if it's intrusive or extrusive. Um, just want to try to get uh, some representatives along the uh, uh, vertical section. Okay. More sponges up ahead. So is this okay for, for us here? Yeah, this looks good. I, I see some uh, reasonably sized samples as well. So I think is the ship stopped. Yes. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, I think just about any of these would be really good candidates um, if they're loose. Awesome, sounds great. Can you promise me we'll see that sponge when we're done? Sure. The do one we, in the background? Yeah. Oh, there are two. When we start moving, do you want to hug that ridge? I can't listen. I don't know what you want. <laughs> the nerve. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> you want this rock or not? Like, <laughs> are we full wide on Atalanta? Um, I can make it so. Yes, yes morning, Chris. Please. Oh, did Chris, you just jump on? All right. This has been the best dive okay. ever. And a lot more okay, sponges. Okay, okay, okay. A lot more sponges. We're about to see some huge sponges. And <laughs> turning <laughs> valve on. Sure. Yep. Thing. After we're I done collecting, know. Christopher, remind me, I'll, I'll give that viewer uh, who had the mining question a little Val? bit more info. Yes. Could you tell us straight for me? Sure. Um, I am interested in a rock from maybe that rubble pile. Um, oh. That one, that one, that one. Could, maybe that one off to the side. Uh, video, so. could you zoom partway? That's good. I think That's any good. of those look good. They're nice and angular. About 10 centimeters. Where is this guy going to go? Starboard F. F? Oh, okay. We're all full on the small ones. Roger. Okay. Do you guys think that we can add other rocks to F and have them be differenti differentiatable? Um, I think so, if we take good notes. Yep. We've been pretty good with yeah. the photo documentation, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, I have no objection. Okay. Nice. Ooh, that's beautiful. Very nice. nice. Video zoom. Uh, do a little twisty. Very do you nice. Like it? I like it quite a bit. <laughs> oh, lovely. Come wide. All right. What would you call the feature we just sampled, Val? Um, notes? Do you mind also tilting up on it for me? Yeah, sure. On the, oh, oh, sorry. On the bubble. Yeah. 
I would love to change that preset when I think of it. It's always when I'm using it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stand by one second. Let me change over the cameras. Roger. All right. Sample coming on. And popping out. Popping out. Going to put it in F. Foxtrot. Do, 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 do. All right. Nice. Ooh, right in. Awesome. Yeah. Well done. Well, that's it. I'm, I'm happy. Yay. <laughs> this is such a cool dive. Felt happy. Open the fingers. Awesome. Looks good. Don't punch the cores. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> Great job. Still approximately a 45 degree orientation on that dike, somewhere in that neighborhood. So we're seeing like slow shifts in the direction of the awesome. stress field on Sweet. this thing, which is also interesting. I think there's a. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, All right, no, I think it did change again. Never mind. Is that another oh. sponge in the Atlanta <laughs> view there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you promised us, Jess. <laughs> no, that's not 45 degrees. I'm just wrong. <laughs> uh, the dike? Yeah. When we were um, lining up earlier, I think it was around 60. Yeah, it was 60, and then there was one that was like 45, and then this one, if I can... I think that, like, I think this one was. No, could, like, before okay. sampling. Oh, there's another jellyfish. Jelly, hello. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? That's oh, no. not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, full wide. You gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, there he is. Sponge, time for a sponge. Yeah, yeah let's go check that's out the same sponge. one. Yeah, totally. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Very ooh. Nice. ooh. I was going to send you a picture of this, Chris, but Ooh, like another. you just get to see it for yourself now. They're all so big. They're so beautiful. Yeah. There's that dike stairway. Yeah. Oh, it's still pretty close to 40, the 45. Just kind of eyeballing uh, Herc's uh, heading as we line up with that dike. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just starting to get things rotated around in my head the wrong way. Val, is there anything else that you want from waypoint six or? Um, I am good rock-wise um, for the moment. And yeah, we can go check out the uh, giant wheel of cheese here. Roger. And then, uh, yeah, I think once once we're happy with that, uh, yeah, we'll start no. trucking up to waypoint seven. Okay, sounds good. Cool. This is a massive puppy. Let's see, scaling lasers. This one has uh, a patch of yellow. to light it from below. Yeah. Sure. Hey, uh, Chris, since you're on, we were noticing you see kind of the bolder, darker yellow that's on here. We were kind of curious if there was a any thoughts as to why there's there are those kind of brighter, darker spots. We've seen that on several of these. Is there any way we could frame this up with the geology in the background? And uh, the other sponge in the back? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, can, we can certainly do that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, oh. totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that a yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's take out the lasers. Oh, wow, there's a lot of life in there. You're going to come a little wide? Or is that full wide? Uh, That's good there. Well, with the arm moved, it's not. Okay. Me. Something like that, Leela? Even that's beautiful, yeah. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, yeah. 
cinematic. Wow, gorgeous. Look at that. Chris Kelly says the first time I, he saw these Bolosoma, he thought they looked like giant yellow lollipops and he was on planet yes. Venus. <laughs> oh, I like that too. Uh -huh. All right, you guys good yeah, with that one? That's great, thanks. Yeah, sure thanks. Thing. All right, pull away, please. A word full wide. Oh. Those are amazing. It's just a big glary. <laughs> it's just that large. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I should respond to that one, Christopher. Yeah. All right. So. Dude, Chris, this has been a spectacular dive. It didn't start off the most exciting, but we got above about 1,800 meters, and holy cow. <laughs> So Christopher has oh pointed yeah, out to me a couple you. of audience questions. Um, so with the permit, there is an observer. That's actually me. I'm the resource monitor for the monument on this voyage. So we, I collaborate with with Dwight, our expedition lead, to make sure we're doing our best to follow permit. All right. So we're going to... 290. 290, Raj. 290. Wow. Well... You want me to follow you around? Uh, or what direction are you going to face? You can go ahead and I'll just come on over. Back away. <laughs> OK. <right. laughs> oh, here's another one. Ready, please let me know. Still going. Roger. <laughs> I love this stairway. Oh, yeah. This is definitely part of the plumbing system. It's uh, 45 degrees is roughly in alignment with the uh, direction of the ridge. So. Oh. Hey, Kylie, do you want to try the lasers Little local now? variations here and there. No. Okay. No I don't know. It was up to, it was up to Jess. Sorry. Oh, That's gotcha. why I no worries. Like, oh. No worries. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry about it. Off. I thought it was a cool shot, but uh, but we're past it. Yeah, lasers are up here. We have a moment. This one. Do some. That is a cool shot. Yeah. Climb the stairs again. Got to look at that. Yeah. What would you call this feature here? A dike. Oh, oh yeah, and just kind of <laughs> erode. It eroded. A lot has eroded out, huh? Yeah. There's two it staircases. To be more resistant. That's kind of how it worked at uh, Smith and Vantage in Washington State. Mm -hmm. You have the basalt columns left and nothing else around it. Yeah, these uh, these will be interesting to cut open. They're going to probably look a little more crystalline than what we've been seeing. How many blades have you gone through? Maybe. Uh, I'm still in the first one. <gasps> Is wow. it a diamond blade? Yes. Yep. I love that. Right, I'm going to turn back on the laser. Is that what the dihedrals are, Justin? That's Smith? I think so. Cool. How many did definitely you bring? advantage. I know Sorry. for sure advantage. I have a question for Chris Kelly. Um, Jason would like to know in Bolosoma species B, what does the B stand for? Is this a trick the second question? one? <laughs> Unknown B. All right, Solon, you can go ahead and call that move. Yeah. Okay. While Chris is r thinking about that, I think, um, we can go I think there was a. Would would it prefer I was to be 30 meters. 30 meters would be great. Bridge, this is now. Uh, can we move on bearing 290, 30 meters? Affirm it. Uh, Paul from Poland would also like to know. What is Hercules' weaponry in case of a sudden rabid whale attack? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> rabid we would have heard a whale. <laughs> Stay very still. Yeah. Film. That'd be a great shot. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Really good cinematography at that point. Yeah. I was trying to remember why I pulled this up, but for a previous audience question, um, Office of National Marine Sanctuaries has actually been doing a webinar series during the p pandemic, Thank and you. there is. There are a lot of great speakers uh, specifically talking about deep ocean exploration in this area. Actually, Dr. Beth Orca is one of them um, not too long ago. Who's on this? She's one of the lead scientists on this trip. So if you type in NOAA, that's NOAA, O-N-O-N-M-S, which is Office, Office of National Marine Sanctuaries, and then webinar, it'll come up. And you can check our uh, archive link there. And there you can basically take a whole college career course there there's a lot of a lot of different uh, information there but plenty of them are on deep ocean exploration and actually there is one you can sign up for 
uh, with Dr. Jeff Drazen that is on the third Thursday of this month, mm. which I think is the next week, but I'm a little bit blurry with I think you're right. Timeline. So Chris is clarifying that the B doesn't mean anything specific, but it's just that to differentiate between potential new species, they uh, they sometimes give them either letters or numbers. So there's an A and a B, and there's sometimes one, two, threes after different genus names. And to answer Paul's question, Hercules does actually have a knife. Uh, <laughs> we As say it's for cutting us free if we get tangled in some fishing line or something, but everybody knows it's for whale attacks. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Whale attacks. We, As we the resource monitor, I'll have to. The slurp to is test for the that. whale attacks. <laughs> That's a hard no, right? That's a hard no. Just to tickle right. it. <laughs> suck, off the, <laughs> suck off the whale lice. We have used the knife to, um, like, cut a line for ONC to release um, uh, some things we needed to get back to the surface. How hard is it to resheath the knife? Oh, we just put it in a box. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not resheathing these knives. What are you talking about? Or there's magnets too, and sometimes we just like slap it to the magnet. Oh, nice. The one on the magnum. Yeah, there's been a lot of a lot of different uh, corals lately along this portion of the ridge. It's been quite dense. And like some really big ones too. Oh, uh, we're getting a question. Smith Rocks is a, is that a state park? Smith in Rock is a state park, yeah. In Oregon. And then uh, Vantage is in Washington State near the Cascades. Those are just areas that I used to go rock climbing when I lived there. But they have, uh, Vantage in particular has really amazing uh, columnar basalt. Mm. That our voyage to, or our dive today reminds me of a little bit. So the question, can you add a camera to the manipulator arm so that Hurt can take selfies? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was told that at one point there was a 360 camera that was mm. on the manipulator arm. Yep. So that has one. happened. Yeah. Uh, tooling cameras on manipulators are can be very useful. Um, we don't have any spare camera channels, um, but that would be cool. Jason has two, like we have we have two different kinds of arms. Um, Jason has two of our right arms, um, the craft predator. And each one has a camera, um, so they can do uh, interesting ops with the, those abilities. I think you can look down the spiral yeah, again, Yeah, I was going to say you got you right want. down the spiral yeah, there. Yeah, you sure did. Nice flying. Thanks. Swimming? Nice swimming. All right, go ahead and push on in there, please. I always felt weird about that verb. To what? zoom? Or to not to zoom? No, not. Oh, there's a shrimp. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Okay, we want to see if we get this guy right. You got it, you got it, you got it. Do a little bit of low. Oh, there it is. Nice. Uh, almost. So close. So close. <laughs> Sorry, we don't really need to do this right now. Yes, you do. <laughs> but we can. <laughs> we gonna, we gotta, we're, the we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Now I, I think you want to tilt down. Tilted. Oh, you're so close. You're so close. <gasps> oh, she's so close. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Oh, just a little to the right. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh. And now I fell off. Now All right. Oh, really oh, close. please. Let's, let's not completely go crazy here. Good yeah. job, Jess. Keep there moving. was a moment there. <laughs> yeah, you keep uh, moving. I, I had a moment where I saw Bridge, it. This is now another move, same step. Two nights. The one in the back is huge. Yeah. Someone asked us where our dive was today. We are 
diving up the south ridge of the Ludone Seamount, <laughs> which is a guillo on the west fork of the Liliokalani Ridge in the Papahanamukuakea Marine National Monument. So we are uh, roughly, I don't know, 800 to 1,000 miles uh, west-northwest of Honolulu, I think. Seems like a fair guess. Yeah, We're the, out uh, the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in the Pacific. In the Pacific. Something that a lot of folks don't know, I definitely didn't study this as a kid, is that the Hawaiian archipelago is much bigger than we tend to see. So there's the main Hawaiian islands that most folks are familiar with, and then there's another 1,200 miles of uh, small kind of last breath of the volcanic origins uh, and then shifting to coral, sandy coral islands and coral atolls. But all of it is part of the same archipelago formed by the uh, mantle plume, the hotspot, the Hawaiian hotspot. I have a question for our pilots. Is it hard to control Hercules? I mean, I it think depends it is. on the day. I think it's hard. I don't think it's easy, put it that way. I think it's like a skill you acquire with practice that's unlike other things. So you can only get better at it when you're actually doing it and you have the whole internet watching you. <laughs> so no pressure. <laughs> well, look at that dike that's like totally structurally stable in the face of whatever erosion happened on either side. Oh, yeah. You want to push in there a bit, please? Look, Val. That's great. Ooh. I've always admired geologists who can look at something and then sort of envision what was there before because so much erodes yeah, and how. Yeah, a feeder dike or something. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Like, there's a lot of storytelling with geology. Yes. Yeah. It's, that's really that's really the, the heart of it is, is, is you're figuring out the story, the history. It kind of looks like, yeah. It's not good. a story about people, it's a story about a planet. Yeah. Wait, everything isn't just about us? <laughs> 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 it looks like the strike for this is like 210 or so. It's a big yellow sponge in your uh, yeah, it's full starboard piece. camera. Okay, so we're, yeah, we're keeping oh, the yeah. uh, pretty consistent um, orientation on these dikes in this area. And it does seem to be um, parallel to the direction of the main rift that we're going up. Um, like we're going up the side of the rift and uh, the main axis uh, is oriented roughly along that uh, uh, 45 to 25 uh, direction. So yeah, this is definitely plumbing here. Almost, almost definitely. One of our viewers is having a birthday today. Ooh. Happy birthday. Happy oh. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Holy Lahanao. That's just Hawaiian for happy birthday. Um, have a question coming in from Australia. Uh, mm. Why are there no crustaceans or mollusks at this depth? There are. We, we do see some crustaceans, yeah. Yeah. And mollusks. Yes, lots of them. We haven't seen a ton on this dive, but usually there are a lot of squat lobsters in the crustacean family. We also see, not family, but group. Uh, we've also been seeing barnacles, which are crustaceans. Um, what are some other crustaceans we've been seeing? Uh, shrimp. Yep, shrimp. Plenty of those always flitting around. And then for mollusks, we've seen some, well, we did see uh, an octopus the other day that's still very prominent in my mind. We saw um, chitons. Chitons, yeah. What else have we seen? Have we seen snails. Wise? Well, then if you want to do the next one for five zero meters uh, instead of three zero, that works. We haven't done a lot of ID on those, but I think. If you want to do the next move, five zero meters, it's Kay. all good. I think a lot of the things we zoom in on are larger. So. If there are smaller snails and things, we may not see yeah. them. Yeah. Suppose well. this is now. Another move, two nine zero fifty meters. Yes. 
Val, can you explain what a dike is? Uh, a dike is a crack in uh, pre-existing um, lithology. In this case, what l appears to be uh, lavas uh, that were uh, uh, building up this ridge. And uh, that uh, crack is filled with uh, magma in this case. So uh, it's um, what we're looking at are uh, places where melt was intruding into uh, the rift system that uh, kind of moves outboard of the main uh, volcanic plumbing that uh, built up the seamount. Looks like there's a little still in the there. that illustration did you want me to look oh, at oh that? no i'm sorry sometimes i just point things out i'll be more clear we're good okay great you got a question how often do these dives happen um we have been doing a dive almost every day for the last week or so tomorrow we're going to be just mapping i think mm -hmm for the next 24 hours or so, and then we'll hopefully have some more dives. Um, but while the ship is at sea, which is most of the time between now and October, uh, there will be dives happening periodically. Some of our cruises are more for mapping, and some are more for for diving. So, yeah. If you go to the uh, nautiluslive.org website and you click the Expeditions tab, um, well, actually, it might even already just be on the home page, but there's a map, and if you hover over the different markers, it's it'll a green kinda, thing. Oh, right. It'll <laughs> show you uh, what what the Where? dives are, what the exploration is. <laughs> <laughs> she was just having a hiccup attack. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, I believe uh, after we get off. Um, Folks who the next round to the next leg of folks are gonna go out to Johnston Atoll. Is that right? There's no. a tech, no. tech demo first. Tech one first. Yes. And then mapping Johnston and then ROV Johnston. Nice. And Me and they, Jess will be back for that. Yep. And before us, the leg before us was uh, work in Palmyra and Kingsman Atoll. Yes. <gasps> also had a places bit of a in the rough, middle of nowhere. Rough weather, I hear. Just w warmer. <laughs> warmer also, nowhere. Also birdier. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be a highlight or is that just one of those? No, I'm not sure day. that's a highlight. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's one of those freaky stories. Not because it was all topside and it was at night, so it wasn't um, captured well. Just pointing out a fish. I can uh, almost still smell it. <laughs> Whenever yeah. the birds came on deck, they got sick. Oh, so just vomiting up fish everywhere. So they got like seasick. Yeah, they were disoriented, but we we were operating with like as few lights on as we could, you know. Mhm. Mm or just that one night that it was like. It was like the birds. Yeah. <laughs> I was, saw that picture. That was pretty creepy. Cheese sponge. They were they. We, we couldn't get from the, um, we had to all stay inside for a couple of days, like while it was um, being cleaned and stuff. And anyway, when the birds were here, we couldn't get from like the mess into the control van because it was like, mm -hmm. they were everywhere. We just couldn't, couldn't wow. make the trip. Well, here comes a pretty big sponge. Oh yeah, look at it in Al Atalanta. <laughs> that thing is enormous. There's so many big sponges around here. So cool. Well, big Arita Gorget too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one of those washes that just flew by because there's so it much. It really did. On. Even though I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I not feeling the tired yet, but I will once I'm off. Whoa, this one is. Whoa. Awesome. Look at that. And it is packed full of. That is oh, a chonker. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a chonker. brittle stars, I'm going to guess. I don't see anything. Yeah, it looks like brittle stars. Yeah. Chris, come back. You need to see this. Ready for lasers off? Yeah, sure. Red by mind, Kylie. Uh. 
Yeah. Go ahead and push in a little bit to get it framed. Oh, nice. Look at all those. Yeah. That is a lot. That is a lot. What do you call a giant amount of brittle stars? A brittle constellation. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. A constellation, oh, a constellation, a constellation of, of brittle stars. stars. Oh, that's really that's good. good. See, 17 screens and wit. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. You wanna come a little wide there? That's cool. All right, full wide, please. These are more abundant than they have been. There's another one in the uh, Atlantic cam, almost completely to the right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I see yeah. that too. We're just on sponge watch today. I think. And that, like, yeah. so I guess that's a dead one, right? That's what they look like when they're decaying. Uh, Appears to be so. Yeah. A question: Who on our watch has been researching the longest? Researching? Is that? Are you asking who's the oldest? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with OET the longest. I don't know. Who is sure? Yeah. I'm an educator, not a researcher, so I will pull myself out of that. We can go through how many seasons we've been on the Nautilus. That sounds good. My, I've been on five seasons. This is my first. Mm -hmm. I've been on two legs. This is my first time on Nautilus. Um, <clears throat> this is my fifth season. This is my seventh, I think. I think Just it's your one eighth. for me. This is my eighth? You started in 2015, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my eighth. So, Lamont, you said one? Ninth. Oh, nine. Nine. Okay, I was going to say, I thought yeah. you did. I think you win. <laughs> <laughs> That you get a pineapple. Suleiman, did you start <laughs> in the Mediterranean? <laughs> yes, in the Black Sea. Oh, oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. I almost knocked out. <laughs> More of these huge corals. Out of all of the places that you've worked with OET, what's your favorite? That question was for me? Yeah. Say again? Well, out of all the regions you've been to uh, in the course of OET work, what's your favorite? I think the Black Sea. The first one. Yeah, that must have been incredible. That was a bunch of wrecks that you guys went over there and saw, right? Yeah. A bunch of wreck dives. That'd be cool. I've never done work in the Black Sea. But that would be really cool. Yeah. Or the Mediterranean, you know. I've done Atlantic, Pacific. Yeah. Even work in the Gulf, I think, would be cool. What was it like seeing all those amphoras like come up, though? You know, like mm. that would be amazing to see. That reminds me, I'm trying to remember who found the Kaga recently, one of the Japanese Imperial Navy's carriers that went down the Battle of Midway. Lasers coming back on. That's within the Roger. monument as well. Prejudice is now another move, same step. Yeah. It sounds like there's some video breakup headed out. Ooh, another one of those dual headed colophagus. Oh, yeah, in the background there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have Chris on. Maybe we could take another. Yeah, Chris, maybe you could tell us what this is. 
We saw something earlier that looked like it, I think, was called fake, but had two heads. Yeah. Each one, the second head kind of had his own branch, but really actually. high up, just under the... Oh, looks so like there's two stocks. The oh, back. yeah, this one's different. I mean, it's also balsama. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please. Yeah. Balasoma A. Yeah. Different. The minis. Mini balasoma. There's a something over here too. Do so. they become yellow as they get older? More mm. mature? Mm. I do see, see the yellow so. stalk. Not all of if them, but maybe at, this. If we're looking at the same thing. Yeah. And we're all done. Right, full white, please. Do you mind looking down to the bottom? Or it's right there. Uh, looks like a crinoid. Uh, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, it's a crinoid. It looks like. Do you want to zoom on us still, uh, or are you good? Oh, no. If we can tell what it was, I just couldn't see it at first. Roger. Ah, okay. Yeah, Chris says, uh, I think uh, those sponges do get yellower as they age. Oh, the balasoma B. Yeah. Balasoma B. I hear the door opening. I'm kind of sad. Although mm. going to be <laughs> nice, but this is one of those ones I don't want to end. I know. I think you're just nervous hearing the door open because no one's walked in. Huh. This Maybe it's the birds. Anxiety door Oh, yeah, open. it's probably the chairs yeah. with the rocking. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking I was going to... Oh, wow. You got big ones There's coming more. up here. I was oh. thinking about oh maybe my gosh. snoozing in this morning. Oh, my god. Oh, my. Oh, oh my. Look at that one. It's Three. so tall. But the rocks are too exciting. Three <laughs> big ones. Yeah. So I think the I'll be up at cool. eight. Oh, interesting sea star. Look at the Adelaide uh, can. Four big ones. Whoa. Oh, sponge polyopagan and moon. Jeez. Osaka, <laughs> does this uh, qualify as a sponge forest or a sponge garden? Oh my gosh, there's oh, a there's, oh, my oh my god. Five, oh my fourth goodness, one. Five. There's five. Five. Okay, I, I can't count. <laughs> I'm too excited to count. <laughs> I, think, I think there might even be six, but I, I don't. I think it's a different kind. Get ready See to the left, all the oh way left. Oh my gosh. So we have one, seven. Some stalks. Oh my gosh, just incredible. And then there's, Eight. as we get up, look to the right, and you're gonna, oh, yeah, you can see it coming in. Yeah, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I have seven large things in view. And then to <laughs> yeah. our left is another yellow one, and then, oh, look at farther to the far left, too. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. But this big one right at, in front of us, I think is probably the... Can we do this dive again tomorrow? <laughs> I know. Wow, <laughs> that is so big. Wow. It's like a giant ear. It's not like from that face, right? It's like big. You can see how big it is. It's like this, almost the size of Herc. Look at that yeah. in Atalanta. It's crazy. It looks like a throne. That's cool. Yeah, the, remember the reminder, the lasers are 10 centimeters. So look at those green lasers on there. Wow. <laughs> like three meters tall, three meters across. Sorry, three meters, one meter, a meter and a meter. This is one of those times I wish we could take a picture of Herc looking at this. So awesome. Chris is calling this Land of the Giants. Land of the really Giants is. it is. Can we highlight Atalanta Cam and put that up? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah I already wow. did. That is awesome. I didn't even, oh wow, you're right in the middle of a fairy ring yeah. of sponges. That's a good, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Oh, there's two big corals of, the, of another kind on the left. Yeah, what are those? Yeah. Can I hop over there in time? Just careful, it's uh, right on your port side now. Right. Great job. I think we're going to get there in time. Yeah, you're right there. We're right on top of them. Position? Oh, you're good. Well, look at that drop one of them. <laughs> wow. Oh, and we're going to see the sponges from afar. <laughs> Look at those. Wow. Next watch is downstairs like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look oh. at how much is crammed on the outcrop. Wow. Whoa. Whoa.
is that one coral, this one we're looking at right it here? It looks ah, sort of like it, hard to tell. Yeah, yeah wow. look at that. All right, I'm gonna have to go pretty soon, but this is a cool spot. Incredible yeah. spot. Great job, Jess. It looks like I can see Thank the whole fast, the connection yeah. point. Look at the base on that thing. Yeah. We'll do a fly over the community and then uh, yeah, see that is one. That is one. Wow. All your base are belong to that one coral. Very cool. Oh my gosh. All right, I need to go. Okay, so wow, guys. this is great. Just as you sweep wow. up, look at all those sponges. That's great. Oh my gosh, the edge of that. <laughs> it's just <laughs> incredible. Diane's here. Oh, you're going to love it. We're in. It's just it's the best yeah. dive Wild. we've had so far. It's incredible. <laughs> Mm. This, this is this one geology it. and I'm biology both like mind this. blown. We're, lo we're looking it's just incredible. Iris down, we're please. looking at the volcanic plumbing system of this rift. Oriana Dykes. Okay, I'm gonna do quick handovers. All right. Oh. Okay. Have a good nice rest of the dive, here. everyone. We're, I'm trading out. Thanks, Raj. Thanks, guys. You want to come up a bit more there, Kylie? Yep. Thanks. Roger. Okay, switching up. Thank you. Can you go ahead? Oh, I guess the ship is already almost done with its move anyway. Yeah, in the last five meters, so and then we'll hold. All right, folks, uh, we're working Roger on a that. watch change here. So just give us a few minutes and we'll get all uh, settled back in. All right, we'll be switching out. Bye-bye. It was no.
Lynette, are you on? Yes. Can you zoom out on a high pack so yeah. I can see where we are? Okay. And what would you estimate the distance is to waypoint nine? It is 430 meters. Okay, thank you. Yep. Diane, can I see what we've collected so far? Thank you. Okay, me too. Lynette, do we currently have a ship's move in? Oh, I didn't hear you. We do not. Okay. Front row, let me know when you're ready to do stuff. No ship move. I am coming up a sheer wall. Yeah, sure. Just seeing the top of it now. And in the top of it, we'll get a special treat. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> what? Maybe a huge bowl of soma? Yeah, that's what it's looking oh like. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, wow. There are more. That is stunning. All right, now we're good for some ship move action. Let's do. Okay. Let's start with a short one, though. I just don't know what's going on yet. Okay. You want to do 20? 20 or 30, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking 290. Yep. Uh, 290, sure. Okay. All right, here we go. Bridge nav. Can we move two zero meters bearing two nine zero, please? Thank you. <coughs> ROV, after this sponge, do you mind if I hop out of the chair and try to troubleshoot something in the studio very quickly. Yeah, Roger. Which sponge are you referring to, Steven? These two. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at these. Because they're everywhere. <clears throat> it's a sponge, yellow sponge garden. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we're looking at the side of these sponges that is most likely aimed at the prevailing current. 
uh, with the right side aimed at the current. Sorry, not being very specific there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Look at how wrinkled that top one is. That's cool. Can we get lasers off for just a moment, please? And yes. some stills. Nice. Wow. Some commensal organisms in there. Probably some brittle stars. We might as well have a look inside. Go ahead, yeah, zoom, Why not? Please. What is it? The yellow color again. Did we already discuss that? Wow. I don't know. No, I was just thinking Right? That. Yeah. Brittle stars. There's a little and a shrimp. Shrimp, and a shrimp in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning to us. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Um, just so front row is aware, my goal is to try to get us to waypoint nine by the end of this watch, uh, by the end of our dive time on the bottom. Roger. Which, uh, are you thinking 6.30 we need to be off bottom, Trevor? Yeah, approximately. Okay. I will be back in a sec. Looks like we have a couple other coral species in the frame here. Maybe a Hemichorealum and some Chrysogorgia. Different types of Chrysogorgia, looks like. Can you pull up focal, please? Yes. Roger. Focal. Is the Atalanta fiber uh, loss meter? Is that what one of these icons? Right here? Oh, <coughs> yeah. there's a live foray down there, too. That one, yeah. Okay, I Would am you back. like another move? Sure. Okay. What is in that <coughs> in the top of the rock crevice? It's a mushroom coral. Ah, Bridge nav? Okay. I think. Might Can be an anemone. Can we move two zero meters bearing 290, please? Thank you. You can have a little zoom ski on there when you're ready, zoom Steve. Ski. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah, it's an anemone. Anemone. Okay, thanks. <laughs> we got some gray oh. crusties on there, too. It's upside down. Super dramatic landscape. You can see in the... Atlanta view, channel two, that there's some more of these bolosomas off to our right below this little uh, ledge. So really just a lot of them all Thanks. over the place. Ooh, it's just over this rise. They turned all the lights on on mini Zeus. Do, we, do you want me to play with those a little bit, Steve? It's up to you. Um, yeah, I, I, I tend to like it more contrasty. And Me I don't think too. it gets us much when we have the other lights on. Yeah. Chris Kelly just popped in with uh, an ID on that anemone. It's a horomathid. And maybe that one in the lower left, too. Just one off screen. So it looks like coming into view here, we have a different type of Chrysogorgia, actually two different types, and another one. <laughs> and a Walteria sponge here with a crinoid on top, one of the purple ones. Is that top spirally oh, one? Oh, yeah, that's right. Is that not an Eritogorgia? Yeah, that's an Eritogorgia there. Is that a type of Chrysogorgia? Yes. I just learned that. Cool. Oh, is this? I'd like to have a little look at this white <laughs> one. Yeah, you bet. I'll get over there. Yellow, yellow, uh, bolosoma land everywhere. Purple crinoid. <laughs> yep, yeah. another, another big one. And maybe a little small one. All right, maybe a tiny one too. 
Okay, Steve, please zoom in. Oh, well, this is a type of sponge, hmm. which is, you know, super informative when I don't give you the name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because <laughs> uh, I forget it. Do you think those are hydroids on a sponge? Could be. There's also some sponges that have little pokey bits. Right. Bonk. Thank you. Oh, uh, Thanks. Ready for another move? Yes. Okay. Yes. Bridge nav. Can we have another two zero meters bearing two nine zero, please? Oh, Thank you. I, please get a reset. You sure can. Ooh. Thank you. Big one. Mm -hmm. Someone is really wanting to get into this kind of work when they get older. What's it like? Uh, well, it's definitely exciting, but it's a lot of work, too. Uh, when we're diving, the ROVs do not sleep, and so we have to rotate shifts so that we can control the ROVs and observe what we're seeing and data log and take highlights and everything, but um, definitely can be exciting. It's a very unique experience to be able to work on a boat. <laughs> yep, if you um, enjoy ocean science, um, it can be awesome to be able to really uh, participate in this kind of work and get to see things no one else has seen. So if you're not afraid of boats, <laughs> come on out. Chris Kelly is coming in with that ID on the sponge. The Ferreya. Oh, yeah, here it is. Mm -hmm. It's um, dun, dun, dun. under this. Scapulatripora. Okay. Thank you for that. It's a lot. Um, what is this? Whoa. Okay. Mm. It's like a bamboo wrapped around something. Yeah, let's spend a little <laughs> bit of a moment looking at this. Sure. Zoom in, please. You're looking at the... Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at all of it. <laughs> rope. Rope. Oh, it's rope. Okay. Oh. Can we oh. log marine debris here, please? Yes. It's rope. Uh, Okay. Okay, come, come wide, please. Come wide. Is there more? Looks like just that little bit, which is nice. I haven't seen much marine debris out, uh, out here. No, we great. haven't. Which no. is good. Which is good. Really yeah. good. So that was a Rosellid sponge. A little bit different than the other ones we've been seeing so far in the first 13 minutes of this dive. <laughs> <laughs> Another Ritagorgia coming into view here. Bridge nav. Can we move two zero meters bearing 290, please? Thank you. Okay, I think after this move, on your next one you can do 50 meters. Okay. Seems to be. Yeah, it's gonna level out, mm -hmm. hopefully. That's spectacular. How, um, doesn't seem as sh sharp of a spine we're climbing as last no, night's mm -hmm. shift. Yeah, we just finished the sharpness. Yeah. That last cliff, the hand, the handover was perfect timing. That sponge with the debris, Rosellidae. 
from our scientists ashore. Some more of these anemones attached to the rock coming into the center of the frame. Yeah, as so well as some dead sponges. Uh, and light brown just below them. Uh, Metallogorgia and pink off to the right. Just in case anybody's interested, we're at about currently at about um, 1,550 meters. And our oxygen concentration in the water is about 36 micromolar. When was the last time we collected an eDNA sample? I can look that up. Give me one moment. Ooh, the last eDNA was about three hours ago. What depth and what animals? Bamboo coral, Chrysogorgia, Bolosoma, Hemicorallium. Okay, so very similar to what we're seeing now. Walteria. <laughs> Except for maybe the uh, polyopagons. Bridge nav. Does it say the depth? It does not. Can we move five zero meters bearing three one zero, please? Thank you. Did anyone see the headless chicken sea? Pig thing last night. It's pretty Excuse incredible. Excuse me. Oh, Wait, I'm sorry. What? Thanks <laughs> to you. I had, thanks for calling me down for that one. It was. Is it something they saw on the last watch? Uh, it was the. Two watches ago. Yeah, it was oh. the eight to twelve watch. No. It oh. was a headless chicken. What? That was a nickname for this species. <laughs> um. Yeah, see if you can find it. So it looks like a couple stalks, I'm guessing from dead Bolosoma, based on the shape of the stalk and what's nearby. Uh, here's a very large live specimen coming into view. We're coming at it in the presumed direction of dominant flow. Mm. Convex side. Look at the shadow in uh, Atalanta view. Oh yeah, gosh, that thing is big. Mm -hmm. Can we get lasers off for a moment? Yes. Thanks. Also some still cam shots, please. Great. Yeah, I got you covered. You can turn lasers back on. Yes, ma'am. Is that Chrysogorgia adjacent or? Yes. Someone's wondering why are the associates only in the cup or edges of the bolosomas and not on the back? Hmm. That's a good question. Probably has something to do with flow, mm -hmm. but I don't know. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. <laughs> These guys are everywhere. I know. Is this the first time we're seeing them in this density so close I feel like I we usually so. kind of pop up on one and then we don't see another one yeah. for a while yeah so as we've been moving south uh -huh. along the Lilio Kalani Ridge Western Fork I feel like we're seeing more and more of these types of sponges as well as the polyopagons have finally started to show up in abundance mm. and size that we saw on our previous expedition further south um, as opposed to only seeing kind of the Walteria and Rosellids that we saw further north. Some nice, can we uh, pan left for a moment just to have a look at some of these larger branchy corals? Just 
These are a type of bamboo coral, it looks like. Oh, wow, look at all the branches. If we could just get a partial zoom to... Go ahead. ...be certain that there are bamboos. Yeah, okay, you can see the rings. Great, you can Look at all the wide. animals in there. Yeah, I know. lots mm. of squat oh lobsters hanging yeah. out in there. And a shrimp, or I don't know what that is. Yeah, a little shrimp, yep, shrimp. swimming <laughs> around. Oh, look okay. at the legs go. <laughs> Swimmerettes. <laughs> that is an enormous bamboo coral. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like a cross section of herc sized. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Incredible. So, so many animals are in it. Plenty of space that can share. Can you estimate the age of these large yellow sponges? No clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, they grow slowly down here. Lots of questions. Yeah, it's very <laughs> diff. It's uh, even more difficult to <laughs> date sponges than it is to date corals. Mm. Um, so, yeah, having an uh, estimate of their ages is rather challenging. Are yellow bolus almonds not uh, studied very well in general, or do you know? Um, I, I No, I don't know the answer to that question. What was I doing? No. Okay. Chris Kelly popping in with the ID on that bamboo, keratoisis. He says, note the internodal branching. Mm. Things to look for. This one's like, starts yellow and then turns I white. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't make up its mind. That is interesting. Also that Chrysogorgia, like different, different color than we've been seeing. Which one are you talking about? This one. Oh, cool. Yeah. Could we have a look at these white sponges over here, if possible? Ooh, yeah. So the headless chicken oh. was a swimming sea cucumber. Oh. A swimming sea cucumber. But it's nicknamed the headless chicken monster. <laughs> <laughs> so scientific. We're, mm -hmm. we're so good sometimes. Seems, seems correct. Sea cucumbers have the best nicknames. I have to say, I don't envy Beth back here on the back row, leading all of these IDs in geology. Well. And <laughs> at okay, heart, she's a microbiologist. In, yeah, right? I know. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing an awesome I job really <laughs> keeping track of all of this. Very Thank far you. Away. <laughs> okay. This is a cool shot. This is the egg noodle sponge. <laughs> is that the hetero -rate? Egg noodle sponge. <laughs> uh, with some lovely brittle stars stretching their arms out. Uh, yeah. Climbing. Is that gray part like the same species? Yeah. It yeah, dead. I think it's just dead. dead. Or dying. Okay. Yeah, I think it's not. Yeah, doing what? Well. So I, I think, think this is another type of area, but I'll wait to get confirmation. Interesting how parts of it can die, not the whole thing. Yeah. There was a, just back uh, to the right, there was one of those big old yellow ones that looked like the color was just draining out of it. Like the top was white, the bottom yeah, was yeah. yellow. Yeah, yeah. The bolosoma, but it was kind of faded white to yeah. yellow down at the bottom of the stalk. Just had its yellow pants on. Yep. <laughs> yellow socks. Yellow socks, yellow yeah. Socks. Oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Everybody needs some yellow socks. <laughs> oh, that might have been a sacrocolic. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, are you happy with another 50 meter ship move? Happy as a clam. Let's okay. do it. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing three two zero, please? Looks like we have Thank another you. anemone here. Right in front of that small Chrysogorgia. Is that one of the Venus? Yeah, that's what it looks like from anemones. this distance, but 
can't tell. All right, Steve, please zoom okay. in. Okay, thanks for the confirmation, Chris. I'll try to understand that distinction between the heterorite and Freya. Ooh, glam shot. Is it attached mm -hmm. to the coral? That's what I was wondering. What? I can't see from this angle. Mm. Maybe. Those chrysogorgia are just so gorgeous. I mean, not they to be ridiculous, like but they're so sparkly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are. It looks like such a big, heavy thing attached yeah. to such a fine. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, the corals are stronger than you think. I guess. <laughs> All right, I can't go more yeah, that way. Yeah, thanks for that, Trevor. Sponge. Looks good. Ah, bail out. All right. Um, for those wondering about the headless chicken, that was during the 8 to 12 wide, watch. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Not this one. Oh, okay. That particular type of um, animal pretty much associates with the other animals, not on rocks. Do you think the animals choose the attachment points or is it random? I think it's a little bit of both in a lot of the situations when you s we see animals inside sponges. Because we talk about the squat lobsters who sort of sometimes end up there and then never leave or can't leave, I think we talked about. Um, but I'm sure there's some type of decision making for some animals when they want to land on some of these sponges. So probably a little bit of both. Quite a diversity of different types of Ooh. corals and sponges here. And like giant bowls somewhere right in the front is like gleaming yellow. Could we get a partial on this right here, please? Mm Pretty far below us on the yep. flat, but that's fine. We'll make our best effort. Okay, Steve, I'm good. Oh, okay. Well, so cool. Hmm. That's different. Yeah, it's good. Um, it looks like hmm. zoanthids on top of something else. Ah, uh, okay. Not quite sure what the something else is yet. Thanks, you can come wide. Look at all these already gorgeous. Yeah. Everywhere. Oh, they're like a sea flower. I just want to pick them and make a bouquet. They're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll leave them alone. <laughs> Someone's guessing that perhaps that could have been zoanthids on a primnoid. Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was a primnoid mm -hmm. or a bamboo. So. <coughs> so these aridogorgia mm. that look like kind of like pom poms, aridogorgia bella. Bella, mm. that makes all uh, the sense. Yes. Because they are. Very appropriate. Well named.
Look at how this, um, there's a sheet of rock off to our left, and then it's like rubble to the right. On right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very stark contrast. Is that a sheet flow, or? I can't really tell from this mm -hmm. angle. Do you want to zoom? No, that's fine. Okay. Thanks. What's our um, heading currently, Lynette? Uh, three two zero. Okay. Or did you mean Herc's heading? Herc's heading, or, or no, the like uh, the ship move heading? Okay. Yep. The ship bearing is three two zero. Thanks. I realize that wasn't very clear, especially with the actual ship pointed in a different direction. <laughs> Ship's heading is one two five. <laughs> yeah. Is that helpful? <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> Y'all know what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Slightly different type of aridogorgia here. It looks like a uh, Magnus Boralis. Mm. I think it might just be the angle. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's something else. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it might just be the angle. Okay, yeah, still a Bella. Still some really sharp cliff features, even up yeah. here. We've mm -hmm. been seeing this pretty much all night. Yeah, is this, is this actually a drop off or is this just. That looks actually like a drop off. Very particle laden water. What What is your sense of the current direction up here? Uh, minimal enough that I'd have to stop and check. Yeah, okay. Very, very minimal. Okay. Looks like a hemichorallium here. A big one there. I'm trying to see if there's a drop off on this side. It's actually a lump over there. Kind of bypassed a little. Oh, yeah, maybe lump. there's a little knoll over there. Yeah. Okay. Do you have enough leash to get over there? Uh, as long as I'm fast. Let's go for a speed, speed round. Zoom, zoom. Yeah, I don't ah. think I'll get to the top of it, but I'll go in exactly the opposite way that I want to, but that's fine. You want me to hold off on a move here? That's up to uh, Beth. No, I don't think we need to. Okay. We'll just kind of explore while we have the leash, but we don't need to actually change our direction. Oh, okay. yeah, there it is. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. I'll grab a couple picks of that. Wow. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing three four zero, please? Thank you. Cool, Noel. Hmm. And it keeps it's going. It's really, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Really cool. All right, I gotta go the other way now. Yep. Wow. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so long for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> I caught up with you, too. I know you did. You did great. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> do, I do, do. Love this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the person wondering, um, how do the sponges attach to rocks? Well, they use sort of like this uh, almost root-like structure called a holdfast. Oh, So I guess we can confirm that it's a drop off on both sides. Okay. Look at oh. the life oh, in this thing. Oh my this gosh. Busyness. Also oh, look shoot. at the cool columnar rock next yeah. to it. Yeah. Something for everyone. It's gonna <laughs> Everybody gets satisfied. <laughs> oh man. We got oh corals. Oh my gosh. It's like an apartment building. Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stars. Something. Can we get lasers oh. off for a moment, please? 
Put yes. it at the base. Try to frame up the sponge and the rock in one. Little cup. Do we want mm -hmm. porch light mm -hmm. on or off? Try it out. Yeah, try it. Try it out. Oh, yeah. Helps a bit. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Now I can just look at the sponge for a moment. Wow. Uh, that's... That's pretty wild. Yeah. Holy moly. That is... Popular. This is like Brittle it's Star Spring Break. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Barbaria>. very city beach. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, very a uh, crowded apartment building and take yeah. a sponge. Thanks for that shot. You That's can great. turn lasers back on. Lasers on, porch light off. Thanks. Oh, there's the anemone again. I gotta look up that name. All right. What are yeah, we, what are we wow. Three, look three, at zero. these columnar basalts. Um, They're three just fantastic. Four zero. Two four zero. Roger. Yeah. If only we could pick one up. <laughs> what is this? I big think those fan? are large boulders, the size of large boulders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, large hemichorallium fan coming into view here, with what looks like an extremely large hold fast from this angle, but might just be intermixed with a lot of different things. Yeah, it looks like maybe some older dead hemichorallium at the base. Yeah, so maybe. maybe it landed on an old one. All right, we can do a zoom in there, please. Mm. Oh, wow, look at all this going on. And it kind of like curves around the rock a little bit too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. I was wrong. This is not a hemichorallium. This is a bamboo. As you can see from the stock structure with the little rings. Uh, Jason Isis is probably the. Can you come wide? Yeah. And there was a little heterori tucked in between, <laughs> like in between the two rocks. <laughs> heterori. It's such a wow. very bushy. Look at that. Yeah. Well, the crinoid up at the top here. And then here's a different type of bamboo. Uh, wow. As a whip. It's so cool to see two different bamboos right next to each other, mm. but so different. Chris Kelly responded to your question about how sponges um, hold on to the to the seafloor. So he says some sponges attach by gluing themselves like corals do, um, and others grapple the rocks with loose, separate, specialized spic spicules. Ooh. Oh. Huh. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That reminds me. I saved a few spicules in a various niblets that came off of bio samples yesterday for mm -hmm. us to look at under a microscope. Oh, right. Did mm -hmm. you look at them under the microscope? Well, I have to see if we actually have a microscope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was very hopeful. I was very excited and hopeful, Diane, on that front. We'll see. Stay tuned. We could, we could just get a magnifying glass and try I know, and look right? really closely. Like it, at least something, <laughs> right? I just wanted to look a little closer. Val might have a hand lens. I do have a macro uh, lens with me that we could try out. Ooh, oh, that would see? be cool. <laughs> Kylie has something that looks like it. a microscope, but it's not actually a microscope. If that's helpful. It just plays one on <laughs> <Doesn't> TV. <laughs> It's actually an espresso maker. I was going to say, it's are you talking about her AeroPress? Or is she's it the got the big espresso <laughs> machine thing. Yeah. So I have seen these it little does look like a handheld field microscopes that are coming out. It's, I think they market them to kids. But I was like, wouldn't that just be cool to have in your pocket at I all know. times? And just be like, and be able to like look at it on something. Like, How big know. is it? It's just like this little tube, like about that big. That's so cool. Yeah. I wonder, I mean, you know, quality and all that stuff, but <laughs> still, like you could get a closer peek at things. Yeah. Right. Like on the fly. Yeah. That would exactly. be so cool. It would probably be really cool one. for like, we'd be like, Diane, come on, stop looking under the microscope. <laughs> 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 Maybe we just get one of those little ju those jeweler things, the one eyed Ew. thing. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> that you like look at diamonds with? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's not just for kids, Diane. Get you one. I know. 
It'd be really cool if you go tide pooling or something and just like whip it out. Exactly. <laughs> You're following me. Oh, I found my people. You're talking to the right crowd. <clears throat> we haven't seen any fish, have we? Really? Right? No. No? Um, but the oxygen I don't think is that great. I'm wondering if we want to maybe head a little bit east to be on the steeper side of this um, ledge. What do you think, Lynette? Instead of trying to come right up through the middle where it might be a little flatter. Um, are you thinking over in this direction? Sorry, did I say east? I meant west. Yeah, okay. I meant yep. west. I was it's still say early. West looks... West looks steeper to me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we can head a little more in that direction. Okay, thank you. Yep. So we decided we're heading west, just yep. clarifying. West. Just west-ish. West. Okay. Mm. I mean, right now we're still heading northwest. Yeah. But might move it, change the ship's move. There's something in Atlanta's camera? Question mark? Uh, in the upper, upper right corner. Do you see that? You still good with five zero meters? Sure. Yes. Okay. Not seeing anything Bridge nav. at the moment. Was it like a fish type thing? Yeah, it's like five a zero meters bearing two nine zero, please. Thank you. There was like a little blurry thing coming in and out of the corner. Did anyone else see that or did I make it? Up? I did not see it. I'm Didn't sorry. It, I also did not. I, I believe you. Ashton, can you be my lifeline here? <laughs> She's like, I'm not crazy. Annabelle. <laughs> oh, look at that little cave. I wonder what's in there. Anybody? <clears throat> it's the bowling ball factory. For giants. Indeed for giants. Crazy Gorgeous just remind me of fireworks. Can I say that? Like when the, you like, see the... You psh. can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely say that. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I like that. Little tiny fireworks. Little for tiny fireworks. Microbes. It reminds me of the like cherry blossom trees. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Mm. I wonder what that rock feels like. What waypoint are we currently exploring or near? We're near eight. Eight, okay. And then what heading I towards tell. nine. Okay. I'm sorry, Lynette. I didn't, I didn't mean to jump over you there. You are fine. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm just all caffeinated and excited. <laughs> that makes one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Allie, is that one? <laughs> Trevor, do you mind coming off bottom just a little bit and panning around so I get a better sense of what we're looking at? You betcha. Let's look right first. Very sheet flowy this way. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'll look left. Hold on to your hats. There's the steep part. Yep. Yeah, wow. that's where we're going to head in that general direction uh, as we start getting the ship moving that way. We might end up paralleling that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because we're going to be. What was our bearing? Last one? 290, so that'll be. Yep. This way. And 
definitely going to go upslope of Argus, but Atalanta as well. Just tagging along. Tag. Du, 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 du. <laughs> Atalanta just... hasn't had her coffee this morning either. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Not to anthropomorphize ROV based on myself. <laughs> For the viewer wondering, do we pick our shifts or are they assigned? Uh, they are assigned. You usually come on board and you see where you are. In theory, someone picks them. Yeah. yeah. Dwight and I pick them and Megan and uh, someone from the OAT team in terms of the, the navigation. Mm -hmm. I personally love our watch. I don't love the time, but I love our people. <laughs> Well we love said. you too, Ash. We're good crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair after the left. Yeah. Hey, it's a live one. Okay. Actually, a lot of these ones dead, but this oh. is a this one's uh, actually alive still. That's great. That's cool. I don't know that we've seen many dead ones on this dive. We True, definitely yeah. saw a lot on the previous dive. Yeah, totally. Can we zoom in, please, Steve? And is that the same as that egg noodle thing we saw earlier? It's with similar family, but a different friend. species. The one was called a hetero... Heterorete. Yeah. yeah. Heterorete, I think is how it's pronounced. I've been trying to work on that. Is this the vertebrae looking thing? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's... Got we it. can come wide. That's the a one. Vertebrae noodle. <laughs> My favorite type of noodle. <laughs> <laughs> that rock is just beautiful. It's so bulbous. When I think bulbous, I think beautiful. I was too. just about to say, I love how you follow that beautiful with bulbous. I love it. <laughs> So the rocks here with the sediment cover and they're not this shininess that we've seen in other places definitely indicates that the current is not as pronounced here as so some of the places we've dove on previously. Not getting that scouring effect. Okay. Good to know. Would you like a ship move even harder to the west? Yes, please. Okay. Is Is another another guy, please? anemone in the background. That's oh, a little oh, baby, baby bolosoma there. Baby, 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 baby bolosoma, and then the anemone beyond in the mm -hmm. crack behind. Anemone. <laughs> wow. Bridge nav. What a cutie. Oh yeah. my goodness, look. Can we That's move five zero meters bearing <laughs> two seven zero, please? Thank you. Look at that tiny is that something behind there. Just over the Over ridge. to the right? Just over the lip of this rock there's like a Oh, oh yeah. I see what like you're seeing. Tiny on the right or something. It does look like a tiny oh, crinoid, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Or is oh my it far God. away? Oh. oh no, I don't see what you're seeing. It's Whoa, hello. Shrimp. Come on. Thank you. Then um, many. 280, last one. <laughs> Two seven. Someone's wondering, have Thank we seen you. any Pokemon fish? I think you're referring to Chana Cops. <laughs> Pokemon and, um, <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think we have seen any, at least not out on our um, watch. Not I think they saw one yesterday. Not this dive. Yeah. So Chris Kelly was giving me some pointers on how to find a particular anemone. Mm -hmm. The Hormathid, which is the one that we saw at the very beginning, um, perhaps that one that was just behind us, 
Very durable, textured, tough stalk with bumps just below the tentacles. Mm. And then it smooths out. So yeah, just a few Good things to, to look for. Yeah. I love those kinds of things. Those, those pointers are great. So great to have our scientists ashore. Absolutely. Because uh, I would be lost otherwise. <laughs> All right, everybody, it's time for the up, duck, <laughs> tuck, fist. Mm -hmm. Working on our mobility exercises. Very important. I feel like every hour we should do it. <laughs> this is a little exercise for that our RV pilots introduced <laughs> us to for uh Oh, I, I take it's no credit for that one. Not for us. <laughs> it's for them. It's for them, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But How's we're that? adopting it. Yeah. When we get closer, can we get a partial zoom on this, please? Yeah. Was that for, like, to anti-carpal tunnel? I don't know. Just Okay, just exercises ahead, for your hands. Just what another navigator said that he did a lot, <laughs> and I said, this feels pretty good. So this is a we see header this. Reet again, I think. Yeah. Are those spicules or hydrides? Um, I am not entirely sure. I think it's part of the sponge. Okay. Cool. Come on. Wild. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, that was that one that we saw. The first one we zoomed in on this Near the watch, beginning. Right? Agreed. Let me poke back in our chatter. See if I can find that. Evidence of a 3D pineapple. Where the, oh, they're there. Those 3D pineapples have impressive shape. Mm -hmm. Three dimension, yeah. yeah. There's more if anybody wants any. Just, just holler. Did you finish off your fungi crisps? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no some, just a little bit of fungus up here. That is terrible marketing. Do not go. <laughs> what if she's Trevor's <laughs> marketing? It's not how they market it. Black oyster mushroom crisps, they call them. That sounds Black much better. Mm -hmm. Even though I still don't like mushrooms. Fungus. How about some dried fungus? Yeah. We were previously workshopping better names, marketing names for nutritional yeast. <laughs> oh, yeah, that needs another one, too. I like that Paula calls it nooch. 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 I call kabucha booch. Yeah, booch. Yeah. Mm. He also calls it nutritional yeet. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. What? That's funny. I like that one. Oh my goodness. Oh, Beth, someone's wondering, does the sediment on the rock surface prevent ferromanganese crusts to form any further? they wonder? I don't know. Not necessarily. You can often find manganese nodules with sediment underbedded. Mm. Um, what was that word? Ender, underbedded? Interbedded. Interbedded. Cool. Trevor, do you mind hopping up again and panning left and right? I do not mind. So that just means that the crust is forming and then within the crust you'll find sediment? Yes. Cool. Like little layers. I guess that turnaround time was right. Those depths were good. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Looks good. Thanks. Yeah, we've definitely entered a patch that doesn't have as many animals. Water seems cloudy, but doesn't also seem like there's much current here. After I do this spin, I'm going to go a little bit faster for a moment. Okay. Does that mean you're about to drag me around? No. Nope. Okay. This time for sure. <laughs>
All right. I'm going to go this way. Here comes a fish. Oh, uh -huh. and there's a Bolasoma off to our starboard side. Something floaty that just floated away. <laughs> a little jelly thing, maybe. little steeper here. What is this? Oh, hello. Oh. Bamboo. Bamboo. Oh. Hello. Nice. Ooh, it's Ooh. swirly. And the anemone. Kind of upside down. Yeah. All right. That's better. Hey, what direction would you like to go in, Beth? Um, can you zoom on on high pack just a little bit, yeah. please? Uh, one more step. I'm trying to figure out where the summit is on that big thing. I don't think we're going to make it up there anyway, so it doesn't uh, matter. I don't think so. Okay. Um, yeah, you can back out a little bit. Probably maintaining this northwest. Okay. Oh, I like the drama, the suspense. Yeah, this is drama. For Although, sure. actually, Lynette, maybe hold on calling in a ship's move. I might want to try to take a rock. Okay, sure. Uh, when we do move, do you want to try to hit this steep area here? Sure, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe bring us around to the west a little bit. Okay. Nice teamwork there, Steven and Trevor. Can we get lasers off? Lasers coming off. You want porch light? Um, maybe. That's an incredible shot right there. Woo. Wow. wow. Great. Yeah, really funny that the brittle stars are always on the back, never on the inlet. Yeah. Yeah. It might be, you know, the way the water moves, yeah. that Oops. the velocity slows down, mm -hmm. so maybe there's... Easier to grab stuff out of the water? I don't know. Oh, yeah, could be. Don't know. It's, you would think maybe the sponge would, like, take out a lot of the food that right. the brittle stars are looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I maybe wonder if there are brittle stars all particles. through it. If what? Oh, if there are brittle stars all through like it, we just can't see them. I feel like it probably is thick in there. Um, Trevor, Everywhere. can you come off bottom again and just kind of pan around? I want to see if there's a suitable spot to uh, maybe try to get a rock sample. Roger. Watch how the lasers come. It just gets murkier as soon as we go up a few meters. Yeah. It's amazing how you say, let's get a rock sample, and then it turns to one solid shape. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. It's like a <laughs> All right, so that's looking mostly south. I wonder if the brittle stars are actually using the sponge as like a filter and then picking the things off the sponge. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Interesting. That certainly would be advantageous and would take a lot of the legwork. <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm throwing out wild guesses. This is not yeah, any sort okay. of fact. Trevor, this is not going to be a suitable spot, so let's keep <laughs> going. <laughs> Roger. Um, you can go ahead and call in that ship's move, Lynette. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two seven five, please? Thank you. That's not Martina. 
sure isn't. <laughs> Ooh, what about this rock? <laughs> Maybe it's pretty large, but. What do you think, Beth? Just below the lasers? Oh, no, we'll wait. Thanks. Okay. That's a big one. It is a big one, yeah. Was, I thought it was closer. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please get a reset? There's that sponge again off to the right, that Another little bowl of there. One. What was that guy? Mm, it's an interesting looking area. Oh, Bella. Yes, yeah. Is that the Eridic Gorgi? Yeah. And some of these boulders are huge. Goodness. Interesting. Oxygen concentration went back up. Hormathid anemone. That's what that anemone is. <laughs> Steven, if you want a little more zoom on Atalanta, I'm pretty stable down here. Thank you, that's probably great. Oh, that's a cool shot. <laughs> The water's clear too. Look at these rocks. Oh, fish. Ooh, fish. fish. Oh, and there is booking it. Some right. speedy fish. <laughs> Eel like a fish. Off the coral down there. Not conserving its energy. <laughs> Not conserving. Oh, look at this one in the hole. <laughs> yeah, can yeah. I have a partial oh. zoom on that, please? That is interesting. It's very form fitting. It's totally grooved oh, to the shape. Yeah. Go ahead and zoom, please. Yeah. Wow. Wild. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Look at that there. Why are you there? I know. Yeah, why is it out there? And how is it thriving? Yeah, yeah. How where's the current eat? going? Yeah. Oh, come wide, please. What if it's a tunnel? That's what oh. I was just wondering. But where? <laughs> Let's pick up some sediment side. and put it in front of it and see if it's which way it's flowing. There's yeah. the fish. Again. There's the fish. All right, fish, show us the secrets. <laughs> you know what? Could just loop around to the left here. I'm kind of. See this little inlet oh, there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's totally what it is, because there's something in there, too. Oh. Zoom in there, please. Yeah, there has to be an outlet or something somewhere. Oh, oh yeah, oh, just right is, there. Yeah, that is really cool. Whoop. Wow. 
Huh. Strange life strategy there. Very secure and solid. We seem to have left behind our polyopagon and big bolosoma friends. Mm -hmm. Yes, here. that's true. They have gone away. Giant whip. Can we get a partial zoom on this, please? Mm -hmm. tiny. Oh, here's one of our, um, we don't know what it is. We sampled one the other day. Oh, yeah. Go in a little more there, Steve. Ah, no, I lost it. Never mind. It's okay. Thanks. They call it a brachiopod that we sampled. Uh, I'm not sure what it was called in the sample log. Bridge nav. Can we move five zero meters bearing two nine zero, please? Halosaur. Thank you. Backwards swimming. Uh, love the way that tail moves. So cool. So pretty. Bye. It's like we're watching something in reverse right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Rewind. What's the reddish up on the right near the sponge? Reddish, oh, oh. Mm, coming into center, pretty red. Oh, yeah, zoom in, please. Looks like a mushroom coral. Mushroom coral and one of those Faraday orca, oca sponges. O-C-C-A. Okay, you can come wide. Thanks. Just working four to eight. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey, Trevor. Hello. Is it like equally like the amount of difficulty to hover like really close to the bottom versus, you know, being further up in the water column? Like, does it get more difficult the closer you try to hover to the bottom? It's more obvious when you make mistakes. <laughs> um, but I'd say it's easier on the bottom because you have more visual reference. Mm. You can see smaller movements that way than watching your sensors. Sensors, don't like the depth sensor, only gives 10 centimeter precision, four mm. inches. Gotcha. Approximately the width of those lasers. But uh, you can get a little finer detail if you have some visual reference.
So our high pack is showing. We're starting to get into a steeper area here. Hopefully we'll start to see a little bit higher density of animals. Seems that there were a lot of bolosoma up here at some point, yeah, but, but they hmm. have. So are these bolosoma skeletons? Yeah. Yes. They look less bowly. They look what? Less bowl like. Bowl oh, I think the bowl is just degraded. Yeah, yeah. I think that's You're like the internal structure or something. Uh, yeah, right. Bigger parts at the bottom. Looks so, like dry and brittle, even though it's underwater. <laughs> Is it more likely for a sponge to die because it's been like eaten or compromised or because it can't get the nutrients it needs? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. My no guess say. is that it might actually just be related to stability. Okay. Mechanical death, yeah. Topples. Too big for its own good. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know that we know the answer to that question. Thanks. You guys want to hear a joke from a 10-year-old? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, what does a kraken like to eat? Crackers. No. Know. Anyone else? What was the what was the line? What did it say? What does what a kraken, the kraken, like the mythical oh, sea creature like to eat? Oh, what did the kraken eat? Kraken, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> like to eat, yeah. Don't know. Mm. Don't know. Fish and ships. Fish and ships, <laughs> yes. Fish and ships. <laughs> Good job, 10 year old. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Thanks, 10 year old out there. <laughs> How many, uh, where do we got people watching from, Shelby? Yeah. Yeah, I will tell you right now. Um, we have the US, Canada, the UK, Germany, the Netherlands, Finland, Australia, Austria, South Africa, Thailand, Portugal, Poland, a lot of folks today, Norway, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Guernsey. I don't think I've ever heard of that. A little shrimp swimming by. Wow. See the swimmerettes, swimmerettes really nuts. nicely. All zoom over the, the world. Zoom? zoom with the yep. swimmerettes, yeah. All swimmerettes. And Wouldn't that be fun yeah. to have swimmerettes? Oh my god. I love it. Look at them go. Oh, so cool. <laughs> it also looks like it's going, going backwards. backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was like Michael Jackson in my head. Yeah, it's just <laughs> moonwalking. <laughs> Come on, I can't imagine this eating a fish. Just eat it. <laughs> just eat oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm, really big boulder here. Can we sample this boulder? <laughs> <laughs> we have a bigger ROV, sure. <laughs> what, Hercules doesn't have a hammer and chisel? Just take a little piece off the edge. Little star there, stuck to the side. What do you think's in the center of this rock? Um. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Fungus crisps. <laughs> 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 Hard no. <Maybe>. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what a side of extra sea salt. No, what thank it would just you. Be a rehydrated mushroom at that point. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Not so crisp. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks for checking in, Ontario, Canada, Chicago. Uh, thanks for. What are all the tiny little white viewing? Uh, they look like little cup corals. Are they cup some corals? Of them. Okay. Could be, yeah. Alright. We got time for a look. 
They're just scattered all over these boulders. I'm mm -hmm. just curious. I think there are some cup corals there. Go ahead and zoom. Boop, boop. Oh, yeah. There's one, yeah. Meow. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Bridge nav. Thank you. Can we move five zero meters bearing two seven zero, please? Thank you. How are you Hi. feeling about a rock sample anytime soon? I'm waiting. The okay. oxygen concentration went back up after we were oh, looking the first perfect. time. So I'm waiting until we Raj. get into a slightly different water mass. There's a little fish in front of us here. I'm blending in. Looks like another oh, halosaur. What do halosaurs eat? I don't know. I don't know. Zooplankton, I believe. Yeah, I think that's what you Shrimp. found in There's your research There's another little last wiggler. Night. Wiggler. <laughs> uh, wiggler. Go, go, go. <laughs> that's funny. I just tried to Google that, and I got a dinosaur instead. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I do like feel like halosaur kind of, Halosaur. Yeah. Halosaurs eat dinosaurs, right? Hello. Yeah. Hello. S-A-U-R. Thank you. <laughs> oh, brittle star down from the Walteria. Oh. Shooting star? Shooting star, yeah. <laughs> Falling star. Shooting star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't know how long those wiggler things are. <laughs> Uh, seemed pretty small, though. It's a tiny floaty. <laughs> Is that another dandelion? It's in the bottom of frame. Oh. Where do you see it? Wait, oh, where? yeah. Tiny bottom floaty. middle. Yeah. A tiny floaty. Uh, you can try to zoom. Wow, you have <gasps> amazing eyes. Eagle eyes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There what in the video, world? <laughs> no way I would have seen that. I don't think it's a sea dandelion. Yeah, like, I don't think it's a dandelion. What is it? Holy Come back. moly. Back. There you are. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. That is hard on the eyes. All right. Mm -hmm. It's got somewhere to be, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, come on. Thanks Maybe for we'll that. Maybe we'll never know. I'll remind you, I have the best monitors here. I don't oh, necessarily right. have the best eyes. <laughs> that's right. You're also the closest to the monitor. Oh, yeah. you should have um, kept that right. to yourself and just uh, like, yeah. <laughs> you can come sit here sometime if you want. We'll switch roles. All right. Okay. You just got to teach me what to do over there. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the harder job to learn over there. I am but a messenger. <laughs> uh, Trevor, are, is the current pushing us to the northeast here, or uh, is that just our trajectory? Current, no, current is going from left to right. Yeah. Okay. So we see those sw backwards swimming things. Current going left to right, so west to east. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. But so it has pushed you t to the northeast of under the ship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if it's east or north, but it's slightly to my right, whatever that is. So probably yeah. zero four five, I'm guessing. That would make sense. Hey, South Korea. Yeah. Thanks. Look at this column. Whoa. Now that's sample worthy. <laughs> <laughs>
Is that a bamboo stalk just laying there at the bottom? Looks like it. Mm. Hmm. Sea star up on the right. Oh, yeah. Going out of frame right now. Chrysogorgia. Oh, Beth, I've been meaning to ask you for my own. <laughs> um, can you remind me about columnar basalts and like how they form? Um, I was wondering that. Um, yeah, oftentimes um, when you have, instead of having extrusive mm -hmm. lava flows that create these pillows, mm -hmm. um, when you have magma injection more intrusive inside mm -hmm. it cools slower and so sometimes then it makes these hexagonal or octagonal shapes mm. um, so you can see the um, on land you can sometimes see these types of features as like piles like they look just like columns all stuck together oh um, what we're also seeing down here. When we first got on shift, we were seeing some of those dike yeah. features too. Mm -hmm. Another getting some more Ritagorgia again off to the left. But these are not the Bella? Um, Aridagorgia is a type Whoa. of Chrysogorgia. Mm. Here's a Walteria and a. Uh, oh, and a trapped animal. Zoom in, please. Trapped animal. Trapped animal. Am oh. I right? Am I wrong? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, I think it's through. just Brittle Stars. Yeah. Brittle Stars. Uh, There's you a can escape here. Yeah, escape hatch. Looks like a very it healthy definitely is a shrimp. Yeah, it looks right. It looks very hearty. Also, oh, a squat so lobster in here. Ooh, that was a good surprise of coming around the bend. But yeah, um, Shelby, to answer mm -hmm. your question, Bella is a type of Veritagorgia, mm. which is a type of Chrysogorgia. Which is a type of coral. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is a type of animal. Yes. <laughs> wow. <Well. Oxygen is going down again, Beth. Yep, but not enough. Okay. What are we at? A little over 30. Now, what are you looking for? Less than 30. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. <laughs> We're almost there. Not quite there. Get steep. Bridge nav. Yeah, it's going to get steep again. Can we move three zero meters bearing 270, please? Thank you. <clears throat> can we get up? Can you pan to the right? I want to see what's on the side of this rock. Maybe it's just the shadow. Side of the rock. Yeah, it was just I will a be shadow. Right back. I thought there was something there, but I think it was just the shininess Shiny of that rock. Shadow Raj. Yeah, thanks. Wow, look at how it drops off. I will. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Woof. Yeah, that's that goes all the way down. Mm-hmm.
So for our viewers at home, we have maybe about another hour on bottom uh, before no. we start recovering. And then after today's dive, we'll begin a relatively longer transit back over to the eastern fork of the Liliuokalani Ridge. So we'll be mapping for about 24 hours after the end of this dive. We have not taken many Niskins. You're right. No. There's not that many animals. Fair enough. We do have a push core. We do? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I think they got one right after our watch last night. They have logged one, oh, yes. Really? What does it say about it? Sandy. Yeah, let me look. Yeah, sand. Uh, it looked very sandy when they took it. I can read you about the sample. It was not on our shift. Sand. Can you zoom in here, please? Sandy area, low density of coral and sponge. Does it say how thick the push core was? Okay, back. No. Sorry. Okay. Did they collect a water sample with it? Cool. Okay, thanks. Come He's on. still. Stand by on that, Beth. Ooh, look at that pointy one. Ooh. Nice looking rock there. Oh, yeah. Just cozy up to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a broken pillow of basalt. Yeah. Diane, you might have been like an evil sea mermaid in another life. You're like, it's so bulbous, it's beautiful. Just cozy up to the jagged rocks over oh, there. Oh man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> evil? Wow. <laughs> it's your, your uh, villain alter ego. Okay. It's definitely. Okay. <laughs> sea mermaid. I can see that. If I was mermaid, I would totally have napped on that rock. <laughs> I see it, yeah. You're right. Is that a Victor Gorgia? Oh, it might there? very well be. I think Ooh. I'll take that as a compliment. How's that? You should. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you just have the greatest adjectives. You're so excited about even the weirdest, creepiest things. <laughs> I love them <laughs> so the, much. Can we zoom in on this guy, please? <laughs> this little red one. What are you? Ooh. Oh, oh it's one of those dog toy weird, things. squishy toy things. Yeah. All right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dog two toy things. Oh, bonk. Oops. Yeah, Victor Gorgia. Victor. Did you want to zoom on it? Oh, this is good enough. All right. Thank you. Keep going then. The violet Victor, as Stephen reminded us. Fish. Allosaur. Still looking on your answer there, Beth. Uh, hold on. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing two nine zero, please? Wow, this is steep. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Sorry, yeah. I just looked up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty far down. You can see the, kind of see the Ooh. slope and bubble. I don't want to fall down that.
Can I get a reset, please? Mm -hmm. This looks like rock slide territory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Another halosaur there off to the left. He's looking right at us. Don't make eye contact. <laughs> it's amazing just watching them do their fish thing. <laughs> just swimming around. Lilo was telling me that the Tonicops has similar feeding strategies um, as this fish here. And the Tonicops, she was saying, takes like one breath every 20 minutes or something crazy like that and just sits, wow. tries to use as little energy as possible while it waits for food. I mean, that makes so much sense. We just see it yeah. sitting. <laughs> I mean, it never moves. <laughs> We've seen them fly. I mean, it must at some point, but we've never seen it. Yeah. So, interesting. But one breath every 20 minutes. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. And it's really grumpy about that breath. Yeah. yeah. And then think about the oxygen yeah. concentration down here. So, one yeah. breath every 20 minutes. At it's impressive. Yeah. And it Strong just lungs. Sits there and uses its lure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder what its lifespan is. Huh. Unclear. To the Google, Annabelle. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> questions that I don't know if people even know the answer yeah. to. Yeah. Um, can we take a more north heading than it? And go right up slope? Yep. Like north, northwest? Yep. Thank you. Wow. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three three zero, please? Thank you. It's looks totally like looks like a wall. If you pull one rock out, the whole thing comes tumbling down. It looks like a slide right there. Yeah. 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 Rock Jenga. <laughs> Look at the Atlanta view as I bonk it. Whoa. Bonk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Oop. Wow. Danger bonk. Ooh, love who's on the pinnacle there? Some something. Someone. Is it a gaffer? Yeah. Yeah. Zoom in. Please. Who? It's a oh. something dead with hydrozoids on the side. Could All that right. be our tube worm friend? No, it's got no. a hold fast. Yeah, okay. okay. That hold fast. Two worms don't make those. No, but inside. Oh, I don't know. Inside what? It seemed like it was sort of tubular, like the. No. <laughs> yeah, two worms don't make hold fast. Like that. It was a coral. Dead coral. For the viewer wondering, um, we have not seen any sharks on this dive. 
I don't think. I don't think we've seen them the whole expedition. Yeah. Yeah, we did see one. Didn't when? We? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we Is saw. Um, oh, like a tiny baby. Tiny oh, one. the tiny baby one. Yeah. On, like, oh, that's right. Day one. Day, like the first or second dive. Yeah. I don't remember that. It was a. It wasn't the classical, child definition of shark. It was more of one of the shark-related fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it technically was a shark. What's it? I can't remember what it's called. Well, there's the ghost one. Which I think another watch saw. The shimmer? Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, shimmer. the ghost shark. That's what? cool. What? What's a ghost shark? I don't know this. It's one, once again, one of the more <laughs> not common shark when you think of a shark. <laughs> but the faces kind of look like skeletons a little bit. Wild. Oh, you mean a chimera? That's what I'm saying, yeah. But wrong pronunciation. Okay. Whoa. Oh. oh. Wow. That's a big one. Yeah, big old, <laughs> oh. big old pillow bomb. Is this slip? I'd love to do like a rock roll down. Just loosen Pick a one up and oh, then just can we? Drop. <laughs> Is that a thing? Could do either. <laughs> no. Just in case there's animals below us, I don't think yeah. we should do yeah. that. No, it's not. Not the responsible thing to do, but it would be satisfying. It would, but we're responsible people, so no. Yeah, like that one right there. Just knock it a couple <laughs> times so it tumbles down. Watch it go in that length of you. That would be wild. Yeah, so definitely some landslides from above us. Mm -hmm. Dropped a lot of debris. The water oxygen concentrations are just mocking me. Like, start to go down and then they go right back up. a little bit of current from the east that occasionally pushes my nose west. Mm -hmm. From the east? Okay. I think it is. Okay. From the east? My head yeah. is set due north and occasionally I get swung to the... That might be me pulling you. You think so? Yeah. Bridge nav. I thought we had enough slack. It looks like the current's going this way. Yeah, Can we you're move right. three zero meters bearing Three five zero, please. Thank you. That would make more sense. Looks like we might have a little plexord there in yellow. Along with these Iridogorgia bella and uh, Metallogorgia with a brittle star. Oh, that might be Chrysogorgia flavescens. Not a, no. Either Metallogorgia or Chrysogorgia flavescens. Not quite sure. Hmm. 
Someone's wondering, are there any other sources of oxygen in deep water, or is it all from photosynthesis and plants um, that have come from the surface? That's it. <laughs> Uh, that lobster. What's on the rock behind the Chrysogorgia? Goes him in. Don't know what's that. that. I have no idea. <laughs> no, no. Some shrimpy thing? I don't know. Alright, I'm all, all wedged in here. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we're, we can't see the legs that are. I'm sure this, at some point, is going to turn into panic ascent. <laughs> I'm trying to stay a little on top Oops. of it. Kind of looked like this. Polychaete. Yeah. Oops. Beautiful terrain. Yeah. Is this? Oh yeah! Look oh, at that. Wow. Are these all Chrysogorgia? Not all of them, but the some of them are. I'm the not sure about the little feathery one. Yeah. I don't know the name of that one. They remind me of little bonsai, just picking these like <laughs> outcroppings <laughs> to grow on. Let's let the momentum die after this ship move okay. before we start another. Yep. Let me do a quick pan here. Getting a little less steep over there. Or we're getting into this little nook. Look back to the right. Actually, you can kind of see the nook in our Atlantis sonar. Yeah. Yeah, a little steeper where we came from than where yeah. we're going. Wow, that's a cool angle. Just Whee. keep going up. Hello, Tether. <laughs> Hello. Is that, a, is that a crinoid there? Or is that a tube anemone? Hmm. Oh. I think it's actually a tube anemone. Might be able to go. Yeah, really long fish, there's a right? shark. There's a shark. Oh. <gasps> yeah, let's look at the shark. Zoom. <laughs> oh, and it's cute. Aww. Look at it. It's a shark. Oh, oh cutie. Nice. Oh, you got you your going? wish, person. No, come back. <laughs> Where are you going? I didn't get the picture yet. Okay. <laughs> Do you want lasers <laughs> on or off? I it's fine to have them on. So not, he's too far away for close-up beauty shots, unfortunately. Okay. Look at the size of the head versus the size of the tail. Mm -hmm. Incredible. All right, thanks. You can come wide. Way far away. Hello, rock. All right, I'm in the nook. All right, here comes the panic ascent. All right, I'm wow. ready for this. <laughs> it's 
a great Atalanta view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love how there's all these little shoots, these landslide yep, yeah. shoots. Really yeah. cool. You just go from one and then over to the next one, then another one. Might explain why we're Ooh. not seeing a ton of animals here. It's very yeah. clear that it, this is not necessarily stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. Even if the land itself doesn't slide, then the land next to it slides, which will mess up the surrounding area. I feel like sometimes I forget to look at Atalanta view and it just gives you such a different perspective because <laughs> we're so close up with Hercules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I look and I'm like, what the? <laughs> Oops. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is a beautiful Atalanta wow. view. It's crazy to watch the Ooh. light just go over that rock I as know. you ascend. Yeah. That's Look amazing. at that. The way the light goes through the light bar like keeps making me think like, oh, we're going to see an animal. Oh, wait, no, yeah. that's just the light <laughs> shadow. <laughs> uh, I, too, right. am panic ascending. <laughs> panic ascend complete. <laughs> Doing a little better now, a little smoother. Less cliffy. All right, we can do another ship move now, too. Okay. Bridge nav. Can we move three zero meters bearing three four zero, please? Thank you. And can I get a reset, too, please? Yep. All right, we have finally recrossed that <laughs> oxygen threshold I've been waiting for. <laughs> now Perfect. it's time for rock looking. So <laughs> we'll keep our eyes open. This doesn't look promising right here. Everything it'll looks look, very attached. It'll look promising as soon as we get back into the wrong oxygen zone. Yeah, here. <laughs> probably, probably. Mm, still a very steep cliff. So for the person wondering, um, no, we haven't been following the original cruise plan. Um, <laughs> it's like we've been zigzagging. We uh, were going to dive within the monument as planned originally when we first um, came out here, but uh, we got ran out of the monument due to weather and uh, okay. it wasn't great dive conditions. So that's why we sort of went out of the monument um, and came back in. So that's why it sort of looks like that. We're this following the good weather kind of around. Thing. So hmm. cool. We're following the good Porch weather. Light, please. Porch exactly. light, please. Cave light. Cave light. Mm. Oh man, that's so wild. Ooh. All these little like nooks and crannies in there, uh -huh. all, all encrusted together. That is really, so cool. Really mm. cool. It's almost like it's glued in place yeah. Right yeah. mid fall. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like an arch there. Yeah. Okay, you can kill Porchlight. So Trevor, whenever you think there's a spot 
We could try to grab rocks. We'll try. I, we might have to think about the ship's move. Yeah, Roger. Why don't we let the ship move settle out, and then we'll okay. finish up and see what happens. This all looks still pretty sticky, so. Yep. But it also looks like it's getting better. Which instrument measures your altitude? DVL. Okay. And Adelana just has an altimeter. Hmm. Good to know. sure how an underwater altimeter works though yeah i was just gonna ask it's acoustic that. it's acoustic huh it's, yeah it's a sonar technically and the depth sensor is pressure based yeah it's incredible the precision of a depth sensor yeah. That it can detect 10 centimeters of depth at 4,000 meters. That is amazing. It's unreal. Ooh. Yeah. When you're near the surface, like near the surface, I say, but when you're in the top 100 meters or maybe 500 meters, I don't know, some crazy number, you, it can detect waves. That is so cool. A large swell goes over you, like, oh, you're deeper, you're shallower. What? Can we get a partial on this? Yeah. Go ahead, Steve. Might be a bit bouncy, but I'll do my best here. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Type of sponge. All right. You can come wide. Halosaur. Like the halosaur, yeah. Nice flat rock there. Yeah, it's almost like someone chiseled it off. Yeah. Definitely in a landslide area here. Mm -hmm. Zoom on that guy. That's that Faraday. Yeah. Faraday. Oh, what's this yellow one? Hmm. While we're here. Mare. You got a little more there, Steve? Hmm. Oh, and that gray crusty sponge encrusting something. Yeah, something. Mm -hmm. demo sponge. Demo sponge, thanks. Okay, come wide. Yeah, so the yellow one is either a plexorid or a canthogorgid. Okay, so ship's holding here. We're settling out pretty quick. We're going to be... We're already in a place where Atlanta won't hit a wall. So I think anything here would be fine. Is anything here... Does anything here spark joy? Uh, <laughs> ah, maybe. <laughs> spark joy. <laughs> I'll keep looking for just a moment. Sure. Well, we're looking for rounded and crusty, less yeah. angular. I'm going to come a little off the wall here. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that's a, that's a fun slab. view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, where are 
things are set. Okay. Maybe I'll hop over the other side of this slab. Put that on top of that slab. Like things that have yeah. slid Look at that down. Yeah. And then it, a little block. pile just formed right there. It's so crazy to see such jagged edges under water on rocks. Yeah, it's so right angled. Yeah. For Miss O'Connor's class in Connecticut, thanks for joining us. Um, we're not sure what that shark was. I don't think we were able to get shark. it close enough. Shark, right? Shark. Shark? Oh, sorry, I thought you said shrimp. No. <laughs> um, we weren't really able to zoom in close enough to look at the features closely to properly identify. But, uh, yeah, those are some great guesses. What about the round one on the left side, bottom quadrant there? Um, yeah, uh, not quite. Not loving it? Not yeah. feeling the joy. Roger. <laughs> Roger, no joy. No joy in these rocks. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a pretty one. They're all pretty. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thanks. Someone's wondering, could this area be part of a paleo shoreline? Not at this depth. Um, the flat top geo is several hundred meters above us, which would have been sub aerial at some point. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Now we're getting into stuff that looks more in situ. So, hold on one, Trevor. Can you come down just a little bit again? I'm wondering about these two. Roger. You want to do these? Yeah. Can I? Yeah. Or maybe even this one if We're it's We're going to try. Come up on Delta a little. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Settle in at like 16, just to sure. give a little space. Okay. Well, overshot a little bit. I'd like to try first with this piece. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's do this thing. This is going to be a weird, weird grab for you. It's going to be all up okay. and left, but it's within reach, probably. All right. Is it in view still? Yep. 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 Okay. Right here. That one. Thank you. Okay. Looks nice and crusty. All right. Blue button first. Blue button first, yep. Do you have a size on that, Beth? It's about 10 centimeters. And unhold. And I'm not very super secure, so I'll try not to do too much smashing. Okay, I will try not to do any real smashing. smashing. Okay. 